What the fuck? <sighs> you gotta be kidding me. Why? Let me let me check real quick why. Because it could just be because her video's up what on screen. What the fuck? Oh shit, I have it. Yeah, what? What the hell? Uh, I mean, looking at, like, right now, it says it's fine. It could just be because I have her video up, but, like, most YouTubers watch videos on stream. That's, like, a common, that's a common thing. So that is weird. Give me just a second. Hmm. That is, that's weird. I mean, looking at it right now, it doesn't say it's got any guideline issues. So, like, the video is perfectly fine. It's up and well and whatnot. So, uh, okay. That's really weird. Unless somebody like, unless somebody genuinely flagged it or something. Hey, Phoenix, you missed it. You missed it, Phoenix. I was literally reacting to her Relimations video and then the stream got like taken down. Like, I, I don't even, <laughs> I don't know why. Good. Do you know what might have happened, Phoenix? Do you know what could have been the case? Maybe Phoenix knows. Phoenix is like an expert on streaming. He's like the expert. He knows exactly what he's talking about. Um... I gotta have it, I gotta have it pulled up right here. Um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't know about that one. I'm kind of scared to continue. I'm gonna not do it in full screen. I'm gonna see if that maybe works. If we just do it not in full screen. Like maybe that changes something. I don't know why it would do it, cause most a, a lot of people do streams where they just talk about things, where they where they talk about videos. So I I don't know why it would have gotten taken down, other than maybe, other than possibly because someone. Yeah, other than maybe somebody like flagged it or something or. What not? I don't know. Yeah, could, couldn't tell you. I'm going to continue it, but if it does it again, I'm probably just going to end up not having to react to it on stream, I guess. Sup, Lazo? No, I know that. Don't worry, Lazo. I know the context. I know, like, I know what happens in the video and whatnot. I'm just reacting to it on stream. Oh, wait. This is new to me, actually. Illy is affiliated with Supervam, working with... Oh! 
so they might have uh so they might have uh taken it down that sucks when people like this are under like a company and the company takes it down um i mean i guess i could like skim it then instead like skip parts because i know where we want to like what we want to talk about i kind of know what matters more because the beginning didn't really matter i kind of talked about it and didn't really matter so we, we can talk about like specific parts i guess i don't know if i should leave my other video up yeah I... yeah the fucking i know what you're talking about i had that issue with another company a copyright company with another video of mine i don't it's annoying i don't know why youtubers are under these people that makes it worse actually why is she under this why is she under a company that does shit like that? <laughs> like, what? No, the title's not the reason why. It's just because I have it up on stream, so. Uh, troubles with Super Stream, for example. Hey, hey, Morale. Hey, hey, Morale. Marcus Baby. download the video and apply filter i um listen i'm not gonna go that far uh what we could do is just he talks about the video in full so oh my god what is his name again we could talk about think before you sleep's video because he talks about this video in, in full so we can we can do it off of his video because he goes into detail about her video You want to make me a VTuber avatar? Yeah. <laughs> good. Yeah, we'll, we'll just watch his aspect. I mean, we watched a good chunk of her video, and I don't want to, um... I don't want to have to go through the extra effort to download the whole thing and then bring it back up. It's just putting a filter on, on and whatnot. Um, I mean, I've watched it already. I kind of get a gist of the whole point of the video. I want to. I wish I could talk about the ending, but I'm I'm worried they're gonna do it again. So we'll just go to here. This is oh, what the fuck? With Why is it at three minutes? Institute right in your backyard. I don't think now it will. With I don't think opinion piece. I don't think uh, think before you sleep's video is gonna get me fucked over. Ugh, I hate that. With Google Play Games, build your deck in class. Hi, my name is Alyssa, and for as long as I can Shit. remember, I have never been satisfied with the way I looked. So, what did I do as a young we'll girl who wasn't confident? He, this is a 30 minute video. I started uh, we'll go past the parts that we already talked about in my original statement. Um, here's the part that I think is where I'd let, I'll let him talk. Familiar lava flow of shame consumed This is the most replayed. I hated how wide my legs were when I posed. I hated that squishy part under my chin that stuck out when I smiled. But most of all, I Thank hated you, the way I looked future. because I knew I was the Thank heaviest you. weight I had ever been in my entire life. Alyssa talks down about her appearance a lot in her videos. This is despite having decent features like strawberry blonde hair, blue eyes, and vibrant skin. She could easily be considered attractive by most people if she just stopped wearing those grandma glasses, picks better clothes, learned how to style her hair instead of always leaving it flat to her head with maximum forehead showing, and watched some makeup tutorials. Now it's kind of like, what, I mean, I guess you can perceive that as being a little rude, because he's being blunt. Let's be let's be honest here. He's being blunt, but like he's not attacking her appearance. He's saying she's a very attractive person. It, he just feels as if the reason why she has such a negative feeling about how she looks is just purely because of the way she dresses and styles herself. If you guys want, yeah, that'd be awesome. Like save the stream and whatnot. I don't think my channel is going to get fucked over. If anything, I'm probably just going to like delete the other stream and then we could just briefly talk about it after this grandma classes <laughs> like that's what i mean is like yeah sure it's like a jab at like a few of her you know clothing choices but it's he's being constructive and giving advice about uh, like what she's wearing and trying to just be i i would honestly argue that he's trying to be supportive and and give her some advice on fashion and whatnot so that she doesn't feel bad about her looks and whatnot i mean that's the whole point kind of hard to see what she's talking about when it comes to the dress so let's google an actual photo of that dress and holy shit that is bad why did she think this like yes this dress is bad am i like he's not wrong dude oh shit about when it comes to the dress so let's google an actual photo of that dress and holy this is bad 
it's true. Like, he's giving genuine advice. This is a bad dress. This was a bad choice. It's, it's like, for somebody who is attempting to cover up their negative spots, you're not doing a very good job of it. And you should choose better attire for it. Like, there's a reason why after this stream YouTube awards, right, you probably felt shitty because you look back on it and you're like, oh, I don't like how this looks. And it's like, yeah, it's because this shit looks bad. You know, you... You got people paying attention to your negative features, which he's going to explain here for a second. Shit, that is bad. Why did she think this would look good? Whoever animated this scene did not do that dress justice. The purpose of good fashion is to highlight your good features and downplay your bad features. You do this by using different shapes and colors to draw people's attention towards what you want them to look at. If my upper body looks better than my lower body, I can easily draw attention to my upper body by wearing brighter colors on top and darker colors on my legs. Side note, if you're trying to lose weight and for some reason you insist on keeping junk food around... <laughs> you she broke a mid taper fade, though. <laughs> Dude, this guy is actually based. This guy's actually like so based. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, insufficient vibes, dude. You're real, dude. Speaking of which, she did like what her fans said on Twitter and Insta back and in... so she posted images of her in the black dress on Tumblr only this time. The hashtag she gave the post is hilarious. About her Tumblr post? Did she? Let me. Let me see. I have the picture of the Tumblr post. Are you talking about the one where she like gets people to do? I'm not sure. But I mean, but thank you, by the way, Destructive. Thank you. But, um, I mean, I don't have an issue with what he says here. This is the main part that people have an issue with. This is the main part that her fans have an issue with. And, like, listen, he's blunt. Don't get me wrong. He's being very blunt. Yeah, you're a fucking mod. I know you. Like, listen, he's being extremely blunt. And that's... Yeah, sure, you can call it harsh and whatnot. But it's not cyberbullying. He's giving her advice on her fashion. And he's just giving straight up... Oh, the, the streaming nomination post way back. See, I know nothing about this girl at all. I know nothing about her. But, um, he's just, he's just giving, like, genuine advice about fashion. And I think there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with giving advice about fashion. There's nothing wrong with talking about her fashion and saying, hey, you need to fucking fix it because this shit looks ugly. Like, dude, there's, it's not bullying to tell somebody they look bad in jeans, right? Like, if someone came up to me and said, I look shitty in jeans... Yeah, it's it's better to be honest sometimes than to be nice. Like I hate it when people like tell other people, "Oh yeah, you look so good" when they're just being like they're just being fake. Right? I'd rather people tell me I look shitty in the attire that I'm wearing so I can change that about myself. Yeah, and and to be fair, she didn't watch the video. Her friend did. So her friend got mad on her behalf and it's it's this is the one part that is getting so blown out of proportion. This is a 30-minute fucking video, and they're taking this one, like, one-minute segment where he talks about fashion. Yeah, exactly. If she's complaining about how she looks, why can't he talk about it as well? <laughs> I, I don't get that. It doesn't make any sense. If you're going to shit on your own appearance, right, for what you're wearing and whatnot, I think it's fair game for anybody to look at that picture and be like, mm, yeah, you look pretty bad in that dress. Like, what? It doesn't, well, huh? Thank you, white. Oh, Jesus fucking. Oh. Thank you, white paper cat. Thank you. But we'll, we'll keep it rolling. You can pretty heavily reduce how much you eat of it by merely keeping it out of eyesight. With that said, Alyssa gave us two things that she didn't want people to focus on. One was her weight, and the other was her legs. Well, all that weird stuff going on in the middle of her dress immediately causes me to focus on her stomach, and the overall design of the dress ends up making her look bigger than she actually is. Second, while you can't see it well in the picture, the animation shows that the dress has a break in it, which brings attention to the legs. Last, if you look closely, you can see the dress is see-through. Why would you pick a see-through dress with an opening in it if you don't want people to focus on your legs? I mean, this whole outfit causes people to laser focus on things she doesn't want them looking at, and it appears that there is no intention behind why she's wearing that dress. It looks like she picked something out that she randomly thought was interesting and creative without asking, would this actually look good on me? How do you draw people for a living but don't know fashion? This girl has- I also wanted to add, she's not a fat person. I don't, like, if this is her definition of her heaviest she's ever been, she's not a big girl. <laughs> like, she's not a big person. Brother, there are people who are massive. Huge. She's like, what, chubby? 
Like, I mean, I'm not downplaying the fact that she was like bullied or whatnot, but or anything. But like, she's not a very big person. It's not. It's not like she's like some big, some big person. <laughs> you know what I mean? He kind of sounds like that science dude who made grape soda from acetone. He does sound kind of. He sounds fruity. <laughs> Before you sleep, sounds really fruity. <laughs> um, but I mean. Yeah, it just has some folds and whatnot. She's not, like, she is not a very extremely, like, ugly, like, fat person. You know what I mean? And that's not saying that she can't think negatively about herself. There are girls that are, like, dude, my fiance thinks she's the ugliest person in the world, and she's genuinely beautiful. Like, it's weird to me. Um, Like, it's, it's, women do that. You know, women see themselves negatively, no matter what, if they're skinny, fat, whatnot. Uh, but, I mean, I don't know. It, it's, like, it feels as if she's making it out like in her video like oh i'm super fat i'm some big i'm this big woman and, and it's like mid taper frayed right now chubby territory indeed but not fat so or comparing yourself to an obese person is stupid oversimplification yeah exactly that's a great way to put it because she's like i said she's comparing herself to people who are straight up like you know actual people who suffer from like health conditions and issues it's like brother you're not suffering from health problems because you're not a very big person like you're clearly not a very big person that's gonna suffer from health issues because you're just a little you're, you're just a little big like uh, chubby which is not gonna affect your health but people who are genuinely like obese and way over the line and just over the top like those are people that shouldn't like that's where i think this video does no justice her video does no justice because it makes people like that think oh it's okay for me to be this size when in reality it's like no it's not the thing is heavy lipstick <laughs> that's so true dude her lipstick it's too much too much lipstick bro holy shit aubrey is the big woman that keeps referring to aubrey who the fuck is aubrey man i don't know any of these people I don't know any of these people. Aubrey. What, is she one of those, like, fat YouTubers that went on diets constantly and then would never, like, actually, like, do something about it? <laughs> is that is that who we're talking about? Someone like that? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. It, it's just, like, I, I don't think someone who's just considered, like, chubby should be advocating for an entire group of people who are actually obese, overweight, diabetic. Like, those people need serious help. Oh, podcast lady, she's talked about it. Yeah, we'll see. We'll millions see. Of followers, yet if you saw her out in public, you'd be afraid that she's about to pester you for spare change. <laughs> she has fact. the fashion sense and physical self awareness of Abby Shapiro. Instead of wallowing in depression about how you look on camera with an unflattering angle, an unflattering pose, and a bad outfit, why not work on the things that are causing you insecurity? Well, the good news is that Alyssa actually does. Yeah, exactly. That's constructive criticism. What? Am I missing something? <laughs> oh, okay, okay. We'll, we'll get into it at the end then. But this is constructive criticism. Like, am I stupid or something? Like, he literally ends it off with just basically saying what I say in my comment sections and whatnot is that he's just talking about this as instead of, you know, getting upset over your looks and whatnot, why not try to fix it with better fashion sense so that you could feel much better about yourself? Because if the whole point of the video is to talk about, like, oh, it's okay to be a bigger person, well, then it's like, then why are you complaining about being a bigger person, right? Like, just fix your fashion sense, and you can look much better. There's people who are, there are people who are skinny and look, and have terrible fashion sense and then look terrible. There's people who are fat and have terrible fashion sense and look terrible. There's fat people that have good fashion sense and look amazing. And there's skinny people who have good fashion sense and look amazing. I don't think it matters. Like, it doesn't matter what size you are as a person. I don't personally think it matters unless you're, like, genuinely, like, a fucking huge person that needs to lose weight. It doesn't matter. Like, listen, there's nothing wrong with being a little chubby. Like, being a little overweight, right? There's nothing wrong with it, okay? Like, if, if, don't feel the need, don't push yourself and expect yourself to be this, like, skinny person that fits, like, specific norms with other people. Don't push yourself to expect that. Don't, don't push yourself. Don't act like you have to be that person. You don't have to. You don't. But, like, obviously taking care of yourself is important. Because we'll get into the main focus of the end of the video, which I think is really shitty when she talks about food as food. ...do that and tries to improve her appearance with diet and exercise. So, what did I do as a young woman who wasn't confident in her body? 
Mm, I started dieting. About... I found a gym. I found a personal trainer. And I got this is a good and part because he talks about things. Three days a week, 45 minutes at a time, doing cardio, abs, arms, legs, as well as going to cycling and or yoga class once a week for an hour. I lost zero pounds. How? I was doing everything right. Calories. No, yeah. The reason why this video isn't even taken down is baffling to me how people can still defend her because this isn't harassment or bullying. Like, if this was real harassment or bullying, this shit would have been taken down by now. This shit would have been done. But it's still up because YouTube is probably looking at it like, oh no, this is okay. Because it is. Like, this is a perfectly fine video. He does nothing wrong in this video. He doesn't do anything. He questions her fashion sense. That's not bullying. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's so funny to me. Thin, calories out, more greens, less takeout, gym membership, personal trainer. I will say that if you're making lifestyle changes to be more in shape, you might not make much progress your first month because you're just being introduced to fitness and healthy eating. Exactly. And it takes time to build the correct habits that will lead you to what you want. That being said, not all personal trainers are created the same. Personal training has a really high turnover rate because it's primarily a sales job. And because it's a sales job, most personal trainers are new and they suck. This trainer is mm -hmm. all over the place with the exercise recommendations that she's giving Alyssa. She's like wasting time lifting two pound weights, then doing yoga, then a rowing machine, then a leg press, all without enough weekly time dedicated to each activity to build proficiency. Exactly. Alyssa, That's also something that you have to factor in this guy really knows his fitness by the way good for him like he, he really knows what he's talking about here but i mean that's what i was talking about earlier is there's so many things that factor into working out that makes that, that you have to make sure that you get the correct workout and so you can actually lose weight like it's not just go to the gym do yoga do rowing do lifting weights and then go home right it's it's so much more like especially with personal trainers it's like you have to find a personal trainer that fits your needs and helps you the best way possible, right? His mom is a nurse. Dude, it's, hear me out. It's almost like this guy knows about health. It's, it's almost like this guy, you know, he knows what he's talking about. Oh, wait. Said that she drinks alcohol in a collab video with the line soul. She did not mention that. Mentioned. I mean, if she was also, yeah, if she's also drinking alcohol at this time, that's going to really affect your workout. Alcohol, listen, alcohol is one of the worst things to drink when losing weight. One of the worst. Don't drink alcohol if you're trying to lose weight. Terrible. Swim for therapy and apparently it's good for weight loss. It is. Swimming is very good for weight loss. Swimming is a very, very good thing for weight loss. My grandpa uh, used to be a bigger guy and he swam. That's all he did. He just swam and it worked. Swimming is huge. Perfect for weight loss. Very, very, very good. Very, very good for weight loss. But again, his mom is a nurse. Yeah, this guy seems to know. See, this guy seems to know a lot about, you know, health. And it's like, why are we dismissing the fact that the guy who clearly has a history and like working out, you know, it's just like degrees and whatnot. And it's like, why are we ignoring the guy who's like giving just genuine fitness advice, right? He's just giving fitness advice. That's it. Her fat video, she did not mention swimming, swimming for the sake of. She did not mention swimming for the sake of safe. I can't see it. Oh, sake of theme stage. Yeah, I don't know. What, swimming is very important. His response video is something I want to look at too. Wanted, that's what a good trainer is supposed to do. Considering that all we've heard from you is that you want to lose weight, doing a bunch of random exercises for 45 minutes three times a week, particularly low weight resistance training, isn't the best way of achieving that. Yeah. It sounds like she was selling you a program that you didn't need just so she could have a paying client. Exactly. Reality, that, that's, would... that's something that's very important to acknowledge too is personal trainers do that a lot. That's why I recommend if you're going to work out, do a routine yourself. Look up videos on YouTube and do it yourself. Very, very important to do. Don't hire a personal fucking trainer unless you're a rich person like unless you're really 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 rich don't get a personal trainer you can lose weight yourself and you can get through it yourself unless you're like like i said unless you're extremely rich yeah it, it's nothing more than just constructive criticism on how people can get you know proper training and and whatnot he's just giving genuine health advice so i really don't get it with revolution with one of the videos Oh, sorts. Uh, but she she legit thinks she is the revolution with one of the videos chapters being redefined and healthy. Moving on.
Lazo is the most efficient way to burn calories. I'm gonna be honest with you, Lazo. I don't know what you're talking about. Would have been much better for weight loss. Honestly, I think personal trainers are a giant waste of money if you're just looking to lose weight as an average person. Trainers should largely be reserved for people who want to learn how to body build, treat chronic pain, and for people who want to learn conditioning exercises to help them get better at a sport they're doing. Well, for that last one, a physical therapist or a certified strength and conditioning coach would be a much better option. This made no sense, unless. Maybe I just He's just speaking facts there. Enough. But my personal trainer assured me that I was doing great. I might not have seen the scale move or felt like my clothes fit better, but from her perspective, she noticed an improvement in my posture. She saw my energy and endurance had increased too. Even the way I talked about life, I was noticeably less. Went back about the person who gave her a rundown. He's a friend with the with and paid edition of Alpha Rad. Mmm, <laughs> dope Alpha Rad. Uh, I don't even. <laughs> that says a lot, dude. Stress. I don't even. And although I did agree with her, my back wasn't hurting as much. I was getting better sleep. I will agree that Alyssa's posture is horrendous. So any improvement in that is good. I think she should. Consider <laughs> in... Okay, wait. That was kind of mean. <laughs> I mean, okay. Again, he's just being blunt. Her posture is bad. Like, listen, my posture is bad. The guy who also made a tweet and really talks shit about Twitter thread talking about sh shit about TV. TBYS. Yeah, I don't know. I don't see an issue with this at all. He's just giving constructive criticism and he's just being like, he's, he's giving like positive advice. I, I don't. Why are we at, why are we in this state? I don't understand. Why, why are we in a state right now where giving constructive criticism to someone's like health is bad? Why do, why? Dude, uh, yeah, bad posture is huge. I have terrible posture, by the way. I have fucking god awful posture. If I ever show my face, uh, you're gonna see how bad my posture is. I have the worst posture in human history. Uh, many back problems. So don't get me wrong. I feel her. I feel for her. I have terrible posture, and I'm not like some overweight, like unhealthy dude. I just don't sit right. Can't be bothered to <laughs> sit up. <laughs> that's like that's my issue. Um. Which now I'm doing it. Now I'm doing it because I feel like shit. Now I feel like I have to. <laughs> but I mean, I don't know. He's giving, I mean, that was kind of rude, but it, it was blunt. He's just basically saying, hey, you have posture issues and it's showing. We're taking things towards the right direction by pushing back against her. Yeah, exactly. L like, listen. There's nothing wrong with talking about your experience with like being bullied, you know, fat, being fat and being bullied and whatnot and people making fun of you. Like, listen, there's nothing wrong with talking about that and wanting to talk about it. Uh, is actually one of the, the semen demons she ignored in her own video. This is, of course, deeply sad and, <laughs> and promoted him to create the response you're watching now. And my source is it happened in my dreams. <laughs> this guy, give the, someone give this guy like uh we gotta like give this guy something if there's any way you guys could go to his channel you should sub to him just give him a sub he's funny and some ergonomic gear to help her sit up straight when she draws and spend some time practicing her standing posture posture like this is going to cause you a lot of problems when you hit 30 if it hasn't already less back pain is great too but to be honest your trainer probably just said this stuff because she failed to help you achieve your goals which might cause you to not buy any more training and she doesn't mm -hmm, want to lose that's job. also so true. these improvements are great but since they aren't what you actually went to the trainer for i don't consider them a success ideally you go there to lose weight and then as a side benefit you get better posture and physical fitness so due to the competitive nature God damn it. Of where i work i hate these things i hate these promoted. ads they want you to have your master's degree i told her thank you for the reassurance but I still didn't like how I looked, and I was scared I never would. But she assured me I just needed to keep at it and have faith in myself. Yeah, this just sounds like you're clearly communicating that you did not get what you paid for. And the goal of, I want to lose any amount of weight, is not unachievable. Yeah, yeah but he's right. This genuinely sounds like the... I love you too, ins <laughs> insufficient vibes. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, that that's that's what this sounds like. It sounds like she didn't get the results she wanted from her trainer, and her trainer's making up shit to get her to stay. I mean, that... I, I would get ad blockers. I, get, I always get scared when it comes to getting shit like ad blockers and whatnot. I get so scared. Because YouTube... Isn't YouTube currently, like, having an issue with ad blockers? Isn't YouTube, like, currently going through something? I mean, yeah, exactly. You have to learn how to take criticism 
um, and the fact that she didn't even watch the video, by the way, she didn't watch it, is what pisses me off. <laughs> Trainer, good shit, man. Fucking good job. You got paid. Okay. I'll I'll keep that in mind for next time. I really do want to get a... I do want to get an ad blocker just because if I'm going to do streaming with t stuff like this, I really just don't want to have to deal with the ads. But for now, I'll, I'll look into it later just because I'm currently streaming talking about this. So yeah, I'd rather stay on point. But yeah, I'll, I'll look into it though afterwards because I know that ads can be very annoying for the audience. Sorry about that, by the way. But yeah, no, I mean, I don't know. He's just pointing out like blatant facts about this stuff. I mean, I just don't, I don't. He's a literal expert on this shit. What am I supposed to say? His mom's a nurse. He's got certificate, not certificates. Or what is it called? Babe, you, babe, you said something about it. Um, he's got like experience in all this stuff. Like, why are we taking her word over his about this stuff? Dude, listen, being a trainer. All you got to do. All you gotta do is just fucking go tell them to go work out and you get paid. It's it's a job that you could basically scam the shit out of your out of the people that you uh, work with. It's fucked up. Even for the first month, so it's really on your trainer for failing to guide you to that. I understand that I said that you may not make certificate in yoga instructor. That that's that, see that's big. He's like he's certified in personal training. That's he, he knows what he's talking about. He knows what he's talking about. He knows everything about his health. List his credibilities in the response. Okay, we'll see that later. I mean, I just, I don't. But the reason that you pay a trainer is so that results are more of a guarantee. Again, this is a failure on the trainer's end. And besides, it had only been a month. Surely soon I'd know. Two months of diet and exercise, no change on the scale. And I had worked my way up to jogging a mile easily on the treadmill, doing crunches and sit-ups for a minute straight. Exactly. Her qualification is that she just went on the internet and looked up, like, is it okay to be fat? Shit like that. <laughs> bank that day oh my god like he has qualifications he knows what he's talking about he knows what he's talking about when it comes to health like this guy has experience he understands what he's talking about i mean it's like he has qualifications he knows what he's fucking doing and i uh... it was even starting to match my personal <gasps> trainer's strength and we worked out side by side and she told me to keep at it don't look at the scale just focus on how working out makes you feel not how it makes you look but you went to the gym to look better. Your trainer isn't validating your exactly. initial wants to distract you from her failure. When did Alyssa say that she wanted higher physical fitness? All we heard from her was, I want to lose weight to look better. I can understand that there's no weight loss after a month, but two months when you're paying a professional is ridiculous. And you should be able to get all the fitness benefits she achieved while losing weight. So either Alyssa is getting bad advice, or she's a client who is not willing to put in the effort to change her diet. Also, the fact that Alyssa was able to match her personal trainer's level of strength so quickly is kind of a red flag because it suggests that her trainer doesn't work out that much. That's not too uncommon. I worked in the fitness Yeah, industry. that that's so true matching her strength is crazy if you're a fitness trainer and you're getting <laughs> and your workout buddy over here the person you're fucking working with is matching your strength that's crazy i think if you're going to be a fitness trainer you need to be a pretty and even if he didn't care equals chocolate is disproven by data and common sense oh yeah dude we're gonna get into that one that's my favorite part of the video favorite part when she compares a fucking carrot to chocolate for years and a lot of people who train clients are out of shape i don't think Alyssa's trainer is actually worth what she's spending out of nowhere i started getting fainting spells five reps in my head would get light and the room would start spinning my muscles would fail on me my eyes would unfocus and the dizziness would take over even when i was just walking on the treadmill as a warm-up i might be wrong but Alyssa seems to imply that she was having these problems because of eating too little the problem with that line of thinking is that a lot of things can cause lightheadedness during a workout uh -huh. and i doubt that lack of food is the issue because she said that she hasn't lost any weight she previously was gaining strength mm -hmm. and those things won't happen if you eat too little so unless she vastly decreased her calorie intake to like under 1200 calories a day it's it's probably not the food. Now, Alyssa does go on to say that she did the responsible thing, which was to check in with her doctor to see if there was anything wrong with like her hormones or her heart. They found nothing, mm -hmm. which sounds That's bad. Good. But the good thing about checking stuff out and finding nothing is that it rules out what might be wrong with you. Considering that it could very much just be that she's not drinking enough water too. It literally could just be the case. I mean, when I worked at when I was doing a lot of working out, I get lightheaded and dizzy as well. But I think a lot of the reasons why is because I just wasn't drinking enough water. Because you know, guilty as judged. I don't drink a lot of water when I should. I should be drinking more water, by the way. I'm not even drinking it right now. But, um... Oh, thank you, White Paper Cat. W. Uh, but... 
I mean, it could just be simply just sm something small like that where you're just, uh, it could be overdoing it too. Like if you're pushing yourself way too much in one setting of doing multiple different workouts, that could be what's pushing you to get dizzy and whatnot. Like a good example is like when I started working out, I got dizzy all the time because I sucked at what I was doing. Um, um, and then, no, we're not talking about that. Um, and some people have stubborn fat, but you could literally look up 10 ways to get rid of stubborn fat and follow that shit. Yeah, I mean, when I, I for example, when I'm talking about the dizziness stuff, when I got dizzy all the time, I would get super dizzy and there was things that factored in, factored into it. When I worked out with my friends, when I, when I work out with my friends, I never get dizzy. And it's because those, my friends are like big on weightlifting. They're big on just going to the gym all the time. They're big guys. They're big buff fucking dudes. <laughs> They're fucking huge. Um, I'm just the scrawny little guy that like tags along. Uh, they're fucking, they're huge. And I never get dizzy with them because they take me step by step. They walk through everything with me. We do everything in a specific weight, like area. Like we'll, we'll do things in a specific spot and whatnot. Like when I used to work out, I used to just do like this, 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 and this. And it's like, I got fucking dizzy from it. And it's probably because you're working like every part of your body and you're not giving yourself a break. And that's probably what she's doing is she's working every part of her body to the point where like her body can't handle it. And she's probably getting dizzy from it. Like you should take things step at a time. Like if you're going to do arms that day, do arms. If you're going to do legs that day, do legs, you know, take things a step at a time and you, you probably won't feel dizzy on top of that. Make sure you're drinking enough waters, water four sets of Roblox, <laughs> Roblox tycoons until failure. That nothing was found to be medically wrong and i'm assuming Wait, i followed dr eric berg's advice and lost all my excess weight without even committing to working out in the nine months or so you that's a thing too you don't have to work out to lose weight like that's the craziest thing working out isn't the only way to lose weight some people are just a little bit overweight and what they do is just change what they're eating so that they lose a little bit of weight i mean i think working out is important because it's good to just make sure that your heart is healthy and your body is healthy and that you're not just like you know lazy and whatnot because when you don't work out your body is slowly just kind of doesn't you, you won't be able to pick up things run fast endurance whatnot working out is very important w this guy's working out right now let's go yeah i mean I, like you don't have to to work out to lose weight there's so many things that can factor into losing weight that her doctor advised her to not do intense exercise during her period there's probably some lifestyle thing that she's doing that's causing the oh i forgot to factor that in i forgot to factor that in she is a girl and periods and whatnot so yes that is something you have to factor in when it comes to getting dizzy during workouts uh because i know that i know i know damn well my fiance would get dizzy sometimes when, when it comes to workouts and there's so women in general it's probably harder for them I'd, I'd argue it's probably harder for women than it is men when it comes to working out because there's so many other things that factor into what could cause you to be dizzy and whatnot. So that's another thing to factor in. Electrolyte balance, light sensitivity, and allergies. Get seven to eight hours of sleep a night, drink some coconut water or an electrolyte supplement, wear blue light filter glasses, and see an ear, nose, and throat doctor. Now, in my opinion, though, you can take this with a grain of salt because I'm not a healthcare professional, but in my opinion, I think it's most likely to be allergies. Stuff like nasal allergies and sinus mm. issues will make you tired and lightheaded all the time. Alyssa mm. animates a lot of weed references in her videos, and I mean a lot. She lives in California, it's legal there, weed is a flower, and yes, you can be allergic to it. If that's something you partake in, then consider taking a break for a month and see what happens. Mm. Outside of that, as someone who has faced some pretty mentally debilitating- so, It's almost like he's giving- Guys, it's almost like he's giving constructive criticism on what to do. <laughs> what she could do to help her. <laughs> uh... Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I don't know what to say. He literally just listed off a bunch of reasons as to why she's feeling possibly dizzy. I mean, it's just, again, so many things could factor into why you're getting dizzy during workouts. So many things. So many. And when he talks about allergies, maybe that's my issue. I have a lot of allergy problems too, so that could be a thing. Yeah, 420 thing is kind of fun. I mean, he's he's right though. People are allergic to it. Like, people can be allergic to weed. So, and, and if she's from California and that's a common thing that she does, like, that could factor into why she's feeling dizzy. <laughs> eating allergies in the past. 6, 9, say, 4, your AC slash heater filter in your house or apartment every mm, month. That's true, too. Uh, fucking just living in general you got to make sure you're taking care of your like your living space as well 
with an FPR 10 filter or a MER 13 filter. Invest in some air purifiers, and if you're using a humidifier, you need to clean and maintenance those things daily, or they will spread mold everywhere. So that's my opinion. Alyssa has complained about having lots of health issues in the past, and many common health issues can be fixed by changing your daily habits. Mm -hmm. So my personal trainer and I Very scaled true. back the intensity of the workouts, and we did exercises that didn't require too much up and down. But then three months of diet and exercise, and still no change on the scale. It was so frustrating. My personal trainer asked if I was eating enough and drinking enough water, and I promised her I was. I left those unhealthy, restrictive eating habits in middle school. I was even consulting a dietitian and following a very strict and honestly triggering meal plan, but I was still not losing any weight. Okay, so now I'm suspicious. Either you have a terrible personal trainer and a terrible dietitian, or you aren't actually following the diet and putting yourself in a calorie deficit. That could be the thing is that she's not following the diet restrictions because what a, a common thing with a lot of people who suffer from like eating disorders and whatnot or people who are bigger tend to say they're going on the, the, the they're taking care of themselves, but like they'll sneak in a few you know, they'll sneak in a few candies, they'll sneak in a few, you know, desserts, they'll sneak in a few, you know, unhealthy things. Uh, so. Yeah, it, literally, he's educating people. Like, what the, that's what I, watching this video, it's, it baffles me that people are, like, actually upset by this video. He's giving, he's educating people on what they can and, and should do if they want to lose weight. Like, yes, taking care of yourself, taking care of your house, making sure that, you know, everything you're using is, like, humidifiers, you know, air filters, everything. Like, take care of yourself. It It's, losing weight is about everything you do in life. It has everything to do with everyday life. It's It's extremely important to make sure that you're taking care of everything. It's not just eat right. It's not just work out. It's so many different factors that factor into it. Losing weight sucks and it's hard. It's really fucking hard. Building muscle sucks and it's hard, but it takes time. It takes care. You have to do a lot of shit. You have to do a lot. All the woke stuff from the self.com article from her video that I went over earlier, I wouldn't rule out that her dietitian is incompetent, but there's no way you stayed on a calorie restrictive diet for three months and did not lose weight. Now, people who are bad at weight loss tend to be terrible at assessing the impact of what they're eating and how many calories are in their food. So now I have to do some investigating to find out what Alyssa's eating habits are. After scrolling down through her community tab, this is I, I'd also love to add. Oh, wait, the only wait, thing I was able to see her eating was ice cream. Strike one. In fact, I've only don't tell me. No. Oh, Jesus. OK, that's also something that I wanted to talk about, though, is how people keep talking about how like working out doesn't I can't lose weight. I can't find ways to lose weight. A lot of the people who continue to keep spreading this message that like some people just struggle with losing weight and it's just hard. It's like you're not doing the proper things to lose weight. Like you're not. You're not doing the proper things to help you lose weight. S simply put, I mean, everyone can lose weight. Everybody. Everybody can. Let me read this real quick. Bro, I think the way you sleep doesn't have an opinion. Is is an answer. <laughs> All this useful stuff, and yet she goes, report him. I want this to be over. She really thought this was... <laughs> it was in... Dude, no, he speaks a little slow. I will say, he speaks kind of slow. I've never really seen her show herself with processed junk food. Here's her with McDonald's. We had the Frappuccino slash adult milkshake ad from earlier. Here's a picture of her grabbing Frosted Flakes. Newsflash, cereal is not healthy. Oh, Next, very unhealthy. at the end of the weight loss video, she shows this picture of a shopping cart full of what I assume she thinks is reasonably healthy food. <laughs> chips. Lay's. Chips. Uh, cereal. Massive bread. Carbs. And listen, I love my milk. I'm a milk guy myself. All right. You know me. I love milk, but milk dairy products, one of the worst things you can intake when it comes to losing weight. Dairy products, terrible. We have a giant piece of bread, sour cream and onion potato chips, processed meat, canned tuna, and more sugary cereal, tricks and frosted flakes again. Does she know that most of this is junk food and eating stuff like this will make it much harder for her to lose weight? The last red flag I found was here. So, okay, I have asked reflex. You made a cameo in there? My favorite health food chips, Lay's. <laughs> like, yeah, what? Why would you use that? Yeah, processed meat, Lay's, fucking cereal. Like, bro, this shit is not healthy. None of it is. Cereal. 
Dep it does depend on the dairy products. There are some dairy products that are very healthy for you, but in general, like regular everyday milk is not a good thing to be drinking when you're choosing to lose weight. Like you shouldn't just be drinking milk if you're attempting to lose weight. Lay's sweet and sour, uh, not sweet and sour, sour cream and onion. Good choice though. That was a good choice in chip. The acid in my stomach likes to do the vertical boogie of my esophagus, and thus my tummy makes weird noises sometimes. So in my opinion, Western medicine seems to have completely failed to effectively treat acid reflux or chronic acid reflux. Mm. None of the interventions- I suffer from acid reflux, dude. I got some really bad acid reflux. I'd actually love to listen to this part. But it seemed to actually work. The surgery for it is super invasive, and the stated cause is a genetically loose opening in your stomach that allows acid to leak out. In my conspiracy theory style opinion, I think that's all BS, and acid reflux is actually caused by a fungus called candida. What causes candida to grow? Sugar, alcohol, and coffee. If she has acid reflux or chronic heartburn, then it's pretty much a guarantee that she eats a lot of unhealthy food or has high calorie habits like alcohol consumption. I'm not going to spend 10 mm. minutes talking about it, but if you have acid Yeah. Yeah. I'll admit, acid reflux is caused by, like, there's so many things that cause acid reflux. For me, from what I've noticed, sh uh, salt, lots of salty shit. Uh, anytime I eat like pretzels, you know, pretzels with salt on them or like chips. Oh my God, that shit fucks me up. That shit gets my acid reflux going. It hurts. So I think it's like a factor of like specific unhealthy habits of eating. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm not the healthiest eater. I, <laughs> I am not the healthiest person. Uh, I'll, I'll just admit that right here, right now. I'm not like a super healthy eater. Uh, not saying, like I said, not saying I'm like a big guy. I'm not, I'm very skinny. I don't eat. That's my problem. I don't eat a lot. I typically don't eat very much. So I should be taking advice here. Okay. Like, listen, I'm not a fucking health expert. I'm just going off of the guy who pretty much seems like he is a pretty good expert on what to do when it comes to being healthy, uh, c criticizing this girl's video. Like I'm, I'm not a very healthy guy myself. I uh I should I should take care of myself better, especially when it comes to this GERD stuff or you know fucking what's it called acid reflux. Yeah, I should I should probably look into like what what to eat and what not to eat. But but he's right. A lot of Western medicine and whatnot to help GERD is like fucking dog shit. Uh, I take fucking I have to take like pills for this shit. Half the time it never works. Half the time it just doesn't stop anything. It's it's stupid acid reflux then on screen i have posted what i and many others have done to get rid of it of course talk to your doctor Ooh, <laughs> ooh! i want to see this uh i don't drink alcohol so dope i don't drink coffee so dope don't eat sugary fruits like bananas okay i'm not listening to that one uh brush your tongue with a mixture of baking soda and water two times per day do not brush your teeth with bake uh, okay that's an interesting one What is this? I don't have... If this is for people who have, like, weight problems, then I maybe probably just need to follow this, which lower the intake of sugar whatnot. But basically, you treat yourself for candida overgrowth. Bro. <laughs> anyway, the point is that I don't think Alyssa eats healthy at all, and that's the big reason why she isn't losing weight. I think the restrictive and triggering diet her dietitian provided was probably something like... <laughs> yeah, are you talking about the strange things I had? I think that's funny as fuck. He's mewing. <laughs> ...gluten-free, or one of those fad diets that you can still eat a bunch of unhealthy food on. Not something that's actually calorie restrictive. Got... <clears throat> I'll, I'll work I'll work on getting an ad blocker, don't worry. So, we continued the workouts... And I Chill out, chat. Test. Chill out, but I'll work on it. four months into diet and exercise, there was still no change on the scale. And it made me feel like such a failure. Come on, Illy. You need to be patient. Losing weight is a lifestyle change. You have to be serious and committed to it if you really want to lose weight. And you probably weren't losing weight because you weren't doing enough high-intensity interval training. Uh, no. She needs to be doing strength training if she wants to lose weight. No, she needs to eat more protein to lose weight. I no, no, no. Okay, it's really simple, Alyssa. Stop eating junk food. If you yeah. have genuinely been trying to lose weight for four months and you still haven't made any progress, that's food addiction and cheating on the diet. She didn't mm -hmm. have that much weight to lose. That's what I think it is, is it's most likely she snuck in a few junk foods here and there. She snuck in a few, you know, bad, bad things here and there. That's what I'm assuming is she probably snuck in a few, like, a few things uh, when she was dieting and then just called it like she like, for example, like what, what a lot of people do when they have weight issues and like eating disorder problems and whatnot. They'll say they're following their thing, which they are, um, which they are, right? They're following it, but then they'll sneak in like a couple of chips here and there. Cause what harm does that have, right? What harm is there to take in a few chips or, oh, I can have a cookie. Like, oh, I can eat this cookie. It's just one cookie. It's not going to bother me. Like, you know, it's like what a lot of these people do is they do that. Cameo in that scene. <laughs>
The seam is crazy. The seam and demons. W seam and demons, dude. By the way, according to her recent like tweets, she's blindly believing what seems to be a rather flawed study on intermediate fasting. Oh no. I bet you they do. These semen demons have probably been in her mind for years, dude. Haunting her. Yeah, that's bad. If she's if she's liking I I uh I can't tell you how fucking frustrating it is how people are just like just all in support of Ill Illy in this situation. It's so frustrating. Especially when there's a guy here who just all because all because this guy has some controversial videos where he seems to be like somewhat right wing, I guess. I don't know. That changes everything. I hate that. Because he's giving genuine advice here. He's being genuine. In the first place, and she should have easily been able to complete her weight loss journey at four months. Now I know all the haters in the chat will be like, "See, I went to a doctor. I hired a personal trainer. I went to a dietitian. I did everything right." Except you went to a personal trainer who obviously has no idea how to condition someone for weight loss. And considering that the article that you referenced from Self.com was written by a dietitian who was in favor of intuitive eating, your dietitian was likely also not qualified to teach you how to lose weight. Intuitive eating is good for anorexics, not people who are trying to lose weight with a healthy, small, daily <laughs> caloric deficit. No, <So>, listen. <laughs> Crazy. Crazy how he literally just points out that her source is fucking dog. <laughs> her source is like dog shit. And it's good for anorexic people. The exact opposite of what she's trying to do. <laughs> like, what? She never actually says what her diet was. She just said it was triggering. Why be so brief? Why not tell people exactly what you ate? It couldn't be that triggering because the only examples that you ever show are junk food. So I don't believe you actually gave this an honest shot. I think you half-assed it. Are hiding behind the, I talk to the professionals and are using genetics as an excuse when you have years of history on Instagram of thin pictures of you. What magically changed about your genetics in the past year? That's also something I just don't understand. She's not big. Like, look at this, dude. She looks like a normal fucking person. What are we, What is she complaining about here, man? In her old pictures, she looks fine. In her pictures currently, she looks fine. She looks like a normal sized girl. Like, she looks normal. What are we complaining about here? A year and a half, that made it impossible for you to be thin. Maybe there's a different way I should be doing this. Or maybe, just maybe, this was proof that all the workouts I was doing was enough. Maybe this was proof that all my body really needed. And don't get me wrong, she's not wrong here. I don't disagree with her here. Like, listen, you don't need to be skinny. If you want to be a bigger person and just build weight and not build weight, but sorry, bulk, bulk and just build muscle and whatnot, that's fine. Plenty of people do that. Weightlifters do that all the time. Weightlifters are massive. The BMI scale is dog water. The BMI scale is fucking stupid. I can, I agree that that BMI shit is dog. It's stupid. Guys, football players, 300 pound football players have more endurance, speed, strength than me and they're foot they're 300 pounds crazy return of the century of the semen demons like don't get me wrong she's not in inherently wrong when it comes to like changing your body is not what matters but if if your goal is to lose weight then your goal is to lose weight I, and listen, I'm glad that she came to the idea that it's okay that I'm a little bit chubby. It's okay that I'm a little bit big. And that at the end of the day, I feel healthier. That's great. If you feel healthier, that's awesome. Right? If That's that's perfect. I just wanted to make that clear. Like, don't feel the need to be a small person. You don't need to be small. You can be healthy and be big. Like, that's that's a common thing. It's common. Like, it's all, it's all about how you take care of yourself. Stop looking at BMI scales. Stop looking at this type of stuff. She needs to embrace her inner semen demons. Yes, exactly. She needs to embrace her inner semen demons. No, don't get me wrong. Uh, obesity is related. Like, obesity is bad. But what I mean is, like, people who take care of themselves in terms of, like, working out. And, like I said, football players. 300-pound football players are healthy. Like, they are, they are objectively healthy. They work out every single day. They they play sports. I mean, they play fucking sports, and they run around for hours on it, and they're bigger, and they're bigger than me, and they can withstand it longer than me. Like, they're healthy. They're, they're healthy people. Yeah, exactly. What she needs is balance. She needs to find a good balance. Like, but, but at the end of the day, it's like chubby people, like not chubby people, sorry, 
uh obese people like yeah you need to take better care of yourself you need to take care of yourself like like i said there's there's nothing wrong with being a big person but you take care of yourself and work out and whatnot and make sure that you're healthy and whatnot dude there's people with big guts who are really healthy like really healthy they take care of themselves every single day they work out every single day and they're super healthy like it just it it fucking happens the human body is a strange thing he did was a little more stretching a little more strength and a nice walk every now and then to make me feel better and maybe as weird as it may sound maybe this was proof that my body and other people's bodies don't need to be less fat to be considered healthy. I love how she completely shifts the goalpost at the end of the video. Your stated goal wasn't health at the beginning. You said you didn't like how you looked in this really bad fashion choice of a dress, and mm -hmm. you wanted to be thinner. Absolutely nothing was said about health. This is all cope because you didn't achieve your goal, and I don't get why saying that you want to be attractive is some sort of high immoral crime. I want to work out to get strong. I want to work out to get healthier, but I'd be lying if I uh, said that I didn't want to lose the belly, lose body fat, make my face more chiseled and look smacked. These are things I feel I do not like the way my body looks, and you know that's not on their own. Those feelings aren't you know necessarily healthy, but also they aren't yeah, the main I, reason I do this. I'll stuff. just let so him talk on this part. A little bonus. Why do these people have to pretend i don't want to look good that's just a bonus wanting to look good is an unhealthy mindset bullshit there's a difference between desiring to optimize the stuff that you yeah, can't i agree i agree i do agree with him on this part like when i work out it's like i i my first thing in my mind is like being healthy but looking good is all always going to be a a factor like wanting to have the chiseled the chiseled abs and the i was afk what did i miss not much it was just talking about um like being like me just i was just basically saying you know being big doesn't automatically make you unhealthy and it's true like being a big person doesn't mean you're unhealthy if you take care of yourself and you take care of yourself well uh i think at the end of the day it, it's a positive thing oh sub dwink Yeah, exactly. An obese person who exercises, in my opinion, uh, someone who's bigger, like I said, 300 pound football players are much healthier than me. I'm 150. And I don't do a lot of, I, I play basketball. I, I like to play basketball a lot. So, okay, you know, yeah, I guess technically, yes, I am a little healthy, but I'll say that I don't eat like they do. They probably eat really healthy, really good foods. They're much healthier than me. No, 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 agreed. Like, big people are still obese, and that is an issue. Like, obviously, the human body is not meant to be, like, a massive size. Bodybuilders who are, like, huge isn't healthy. It's not. Like, being being huge is not healthy. It's not. Bodybuilders who are, you know those big bodybuilders with just pure muscle? That's not healthy. The human body is supposed to have specific percentage of fat on it. That's not healthy either. There's so many things that factor into what is healthy and what isn't healthy. And at the end of the day, like being big doesn't automatically make you unhealthy, but being like extremely overweight is like, okay, yeah, dude, you need to like start to lose some weight. There's some, there's a scare factor in there. I'm at work, but I got nothing going on. What about you? I'm just chilling, reacting to the illumination stuff. 13 watching right now? Jesus. Hello. My goodness. The rock has only gotten bigger. <laughs> Some tons of Brian was say adjusted for. Yeah, I, I don't want to harp on that part Change. too much. And hyper focusing on genetic we'll factors him, that we'll you can't. Talk about. Wanting to lose weight to look better is good, as long as you aren't underweight, and having a meltdown because you don't like the shape of your ears or whatever, it's not healthy. You don't have to morally grandstand by saying, I'm more refined because I don't care about my appearance, I care about my health. Well, I hate to break it to you, but attractiveness and good health are often highly related, and I'm not just talking about weight. Bad posture is unattractive and bad for you. Mouth yeah. breathing is unattractive and unhealthy. Clearly, he's Alyssa and he's these people do right care now. about their appearance, and it's not vain or low class to want to look good. People should aspire to be as attractive as they can be, instead of moralizing their failures as a good thing, because actually, I'm a better person than someone who's able to lose weight successfully, because I care more about personality. You're just saying that because you failed. You're just as superficial as everyone else, which is why you wanted to lose weight in the first place, and this is all cope. We've been told our entire lives that you can't be he's healthy if right you're fat. There. Yet, here I am, at the heaviest I've ever been in my entire life, but also the healthiest I've ever been, according to multiple doctors. It was around this time I revisited a podcast I hadn't listened to in a while. The show is called Maintenance Phase, and it's hosted by Aubrey Gordon and Michael Hobbs. Each episode, they go over diet trends and fads, the history, the myths, the biases. They have really helped me reconsider what it means to be healthy. Wow, this is a very misleading animation. Note that she began this segment with, it's not 
not unhealthy to be overweight. While that technically might be true in terms of all-cause mortality, being a few pounds overweight will most likely not end your life early, mm -hmm. but this specific animation is completely inaccurate. The girl on the left is named Aubrey Gordon, and if that name doesn't sound familiar to you, remember this opinion piece that I showed earlier that was cited as evidence in the self.com article that Alyssa used? Well, this girl on the left wrote that article. Small world. But in this animation, she's depicted as a little overweight, when in reality, this is what she actually looks oh. like. Oh! Cool Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> oh, we should not be taking advice from people that have this size. Oh my goodness. What are we doing? What are we doing? Health advice from women that are literally this size. Are you kidding me? She got her... She got her advice. Oh my god. I mean, who are you going to believe, right? Who would you rather believe? The person who has folds upon folds upon folds upon folds? Or the guy who takes care of himself, works out every day? I mean, Jesus Christ. The fucking... There's a bunch of TikTokers who recently died because of being overweight. That's a big... That's a big bitch. That's a big-ass bitch. Why are we taking advice from people like this? Why? Why? Why are we taking health advice from people like this? This is a big ass bitch. <laughs> I'm not taking advice from anybody of this size. <laughs> what the fuck? It, that, that is really misleading in her video. She is not some just slightly chubby person. She's a very big person. Uh, That changes a lot, yeah. This stuff. She's maybe like 160 to 170 pounds in this animation. A little fat. However, in real life, she's like over 300 pounds. I really have trouble. Huh? We should not be taking advice from people like this. Why? What? What? Trouble believing that Alyssa is trying to be honest about her dieting when she wildly misrepresents Aubrey to make her look vastly thinner than she actually is. This is like the Anita Sarkeesian animation all over again, but much less accurate of a representation. More good news, because of Alyssa's recommendation, I watched an episode of Maintenance Phase, and despite them being politically aligned with Alyssa, actually maybe closer to the radical left than Alyssa is, even they will say that being morbidly obese like Aubrey is unhealthy. If you look at the raw numbers, it's true that very fat people have shorter lifespans than thin people. Yeah. It so wait, what? So they acknowledge that it's unhealthy. They acknowledge that this lifestyle is unhealthy, that her being obese is unhealthy. So what, what are we, what? It's complicated for the lower weights, and there's a lot of scientific debate about sort of when that association kicks in, and we'll get into it. But that correlation, that, that statement that very fat people are more likely to get heart disease and diabetes and everything you've read about in a million Newsweek articles, that's never really been debated. It absolutely has been debated. Do you yeah, know who debated it? it? Your morbidly obese co-host said that people were wrong for assuming that she's unhealthy in the article that I showed at the start oh, of the video. She, did. she is unhealthy. I'll, I'll give you that much. I don't think there's a single ounce of muscle in, that, in those roles. I don't think we could see a single ounce of muscle in those roles, buddy. I think she's a very unhealthy person. Very unhealthy. I don't think there's anything wrong with people being like, hey, you're really unhealthy <laughs> for being 300 fucking pounds. Women, women in particular, women are not supposed to be 300, 300 pounds. That's a, that's a big number. Big fucking number. Oh. And many creators, such as Noah Sampson, often say that morbidly obese people can be healthy. But imagine that. Being obese is not good for you. Yeah, that's just wrong. Being morbidly obese is not healthy. In no way, shape, or form is it healthy. Yeah, I, being morbidly obese is just factually bad. Like, the, it's just, there's facts behind it. It shortens your lifespan. Yeah, it affects, it, being morbidly obese affects so much. It kills you. It literally kills you. We, not even that long ago, we just saw TikTokers who were morbidly obese die at the age of like 30. Like, it kills you. Being fat is bad. Like, I, I don't know how to put this. Like, being morbidly obese is bad. There's no positives. None. Zero positives to being morbidly obese. None. The fuck is this argument? <laughs> like, what? <laughs> like, there's no positives. None. If you're just a fat person and you're just 
you, if you're just sitting there fat as fuck, morbidly obese, yeah, that's a that's negative. That's bad. The research is so clear on that that even they have to admit that if they want to maintain their branding as a podcast that is good at research. All right, let's see Alyssa's final piece of advice. A carrot isn't an inherent good food. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. While chocolate is an inherent bad food. Food is just oh food. My. No matter how many calories, carbs, sugars, you should feel free to eat whatever food you want to without beating yourself up about it. I'm done. That was such terrible <laughs> advice. I don't know how this video could be considered as anything other than enabling food addicts to not fix their health. She basically just Exactly. That's what I don't understand. How did you go through that entire journey in your video, right? And then your final, your final piece on it is just, food is food, guys. You should be allowed to eat whatever you want. There's a huge difference between a fucking carrot and some chocolate. There's a huge difference between chocolate and carrots. Carrots? That, that goes a long way. That's pretty healthy. That's good for your body. Chocolate? Diabetes. St diabetes stick. It's a stick of diabetes. What? Huh? Food is not just food. You should genuinely take care of yourself and take care of what you're eating. How did she go through this whole fucking story and end it with food is food? How? How is this your final fucking point? Just said, I tried to lose weight to look more attractive, and I gave up because I couldn't figure it out, so you should give up too and gaslight yourself about what your actual goal was. Exactly, that's, that's what it sounds like she's saying. Wait, what? See, that's the eat when eat whatever you want unless you're under a dietary restriction until what you eat forces you into a dietary rest restriction. That's bad logic. That's so that's so bad because there's so many people who do that where they they eat whatever they want until they get super big. And then when it comes to actually going on a dietary restriction, they're a lost cause. They can't fix themselves because they're so far gone. Because that's what happens with a lot of people who are overweight. We've I've watched my 600-pound life and shit. It's hard because those people grew up eating junk food, junk food, junk food, junk food. It's hard to drop it. It's extremely hard to drop it once you've done it because you're so far gone. And working out at that point is extremely hard. Why would you push yourself on a limit where it's like, I'll eat whatever the fuck I want until I'm forced to not eat what I want? Like, what? <laughs> Mind-blowing, am I right? It's mind-blowing how other foods can kill you and others can't. And how others could be beneficial for your health. It's crazy. It's crazy how that works. So, Alyssa, you're really improving the world. You know what's great about this advice? Because you conflated being overweight with extreme obesity, so you could say that both are healthy, what's going to happen is that people who watch this video that are 300 pounds are going to say, see, Alyssa is fine with being overweight. I don't have to change either. Mm -hmm. And then they'll eat themselves into an early grave. Stop writing Exactly. That's what people are going to take from this video. Big fucking people are going to look at this and be like, oh, so wait, me being fat doesn't mean I'm unhealthy it is portion size don't get me wrong but her point is very bad comparing carrots to chocolate is bad like that's a terrible argument like don't get me wrong i agree portion size is important you're not going to be healthy if you just down like three bags of baby carrots or carrots and whatnot right you're not going to be healthy if you down a shitload of you know vegetables right you're not going to be automatically healthy it's important to take things into portion size and whatnot um it is it's important but you have to make sure that you're like how do i put this you have to make sure that you're like eating right you, you can't just compare carrots to chocolate chocolate's going to put you in an early grave compared to carrots right like telling your audience that eat whatever you want guys it's all good that's not going to be, that's not beneficial. That's telling like your audience, possibly audience of fat people. And that's actually facts. If you eat too much carrots, your skin turns orange. There's a guy who died from eating too much carrots. Like, don't get me wrong. It can kill you if you're carrot max. Yeah, carrot, carrot maxing. If you carrot max, you could kill yourself. Don't get me wrong. It's true. Like if you eat just one thing over and over and over again, it's not healthy for you. But the difference between a carrot and chocolate is that carrots have much more nutritional value and just in general, just better for your health in general than a fucking stick of chocolate, right? Obviously. Off as malicious concern trolling when the ending message of your video was effectively, if you can't stop doing drugs, then drugs aren't bad and you should take whatever drugs you want and as many drugs as you want. Keep exactly. That's what it comes off as is like, it comes off as that.
that Alyssa's videos are clearly targeted at children based on the style of animation and the references and jokes she makes. I will say that my opinion of Alyssa was far more favorable, specifically until I saw that last clip. That being said, a book I've been reading recently is called Influenced by Robert Cialdini, who is a psychologist- Is this the ending of it? Yeah, I think he's talking about the book now. Uh, I'm not going to go into this part, because I want to get into the response video of it. Four eggs a day is good. Goaded. Eggs are, eggs are based. Love eggs. Eggs are awesome. You should eat eggs. People should eat eggs. Eggs are a great source of protein. Very healthy. I love eggs. But we'll we'll get into the next. We'll get into this. I wrote the market to the moon. Shit! We're gonna pot. We're gonna mute it. I'm not gonna give you the satisfaction, TurboTax Live. Sorry, I will fix it. I, I'm sorry. I will I will get an ad blocker. This shit's ridiculous. Oh fuck, dude. Not giving you the satisfaction, buddy. I usually uh hi everyone. I usually don't start videos out like this, but today is a Yeah, eggs are eggs are awesome. Eggs are great. Really good source of protein just in general like eggs are just eggs are really good for if I'm not mistaken, eggs are really good for weight loss. Um just eggs in general are just great. Eat eggs. Thank you, Destructive. You're such a... Dude, you guys are so nice. What the fuck, man? Thank you. This is based. Oh, this is based. This is awesome. This is so red-pilled. <laughs> so cool. I don't think there's any semen demons here, guys. So I, I think we're gonna, we're not gonna be seeing any semen demons. A special occasion. Earlier, I found out that someone I made a video on got offended and has started a mass flagging campaign against me to try and get this video taken down. For everyone who is out of the loop, a few days ago, I made a video about a YouTuber who goes by Illimation or Alyssa, where I basically spent 30 minutes saying, I don't like your video, and here's why. A thing that many YouTubers do. Yeah, I, I mean, I do that all the damn time. I guess I'm a fucking, I'm the biggest bully the world's ever seen, I guess. I'm a I'm a devious little freakazoid. I I I admit it, guys. I admit it. Criticize other YouTubers. Other YouTubers have criticized me. Sometimes we have a little internet battle. Those are fun. And by the end of it, everyone moves on with their life after about a week or two. Exactly. Except That's literally how it works. I had this with Femios. It was back and forth battle of just like you know stupid shit. It was good for views. Good for growth. Jesus Christ! Somebody's yelling outside. Jesus. Holy fuck. Um, yeah, I mean, that's part of internet drama and beef and whatnot. People are going to move on from this. That's the thing. His video is like, at the end of the day, it doesn't affect her. It doesn't. He's just criticizing the video, and her acting out on it is only making it worse for her. Like, why not just ignore it? If you didn't like the video, just ignore it. Who cares? Who cares what this random guy that has... His demographic is nowhere near close to an animation demographic. So it doesn't matter, right? Like you're not going to lose subs and people from him criticizing you. Your subs don't even watch people like him. So who cares? I mean, it, it really doesn't matter. Alyssa, now because of the urgency of the situation and considering that my channel is on the line because Alyssa has millions of followers and she's well connected to a bunch of other powerful YouTubers, I rushed to make a community post about it just in case I got a channel strike before I got the chance to comment. If you already read that community post, I gave the gist of the situation there, but I'll be going further into detail in this video. That being said, earlier I received an email from a follower giving a well-detailed description about how Alyssa is trying to get me a channel strike because she didn't like a video that she admits to not even watching. If you didn't watch it, how do you know what's in it? Well, a friend oh. of hers told her it was bad. Wait, isn't this the exact kind of research that I criticized her for in the video? Yeah, that exactly. That's a, the, that's the research that people keep... <laughs> I keep criticizing people in my own video. Like... Dude, people in my fucking own video were like, shows how much research you do. It's like, brother, she didn't even do her own. <laughs> she didn't even watch the video herself. <laughs> oh my god. She is often an education channel that pushes ideals. Yeah, exactly. You'd think she'd be happy to defend her positions, but no. Uh, who cares? Advice is not universal, even about portion size, and she would not do this seeing clear prior to the body positivity videos. Some people did criticize and she took it well. Oh, Tumblr post is fake? That's just not true. But what are we on about right now? Did the, the Tumblr this Tumblr post? This stuff? This is not fake. 
I don't, I don't know what to say about that. Her asking her, like, this is something her friends have been arguing about on Twitter, if I'm not mistaken. Literally, I, I don't know what to tell you about that one. She she directed her audience to send hate. I mean, even if it, here here's the thing, even if it is fake, her audience is doing it. I mean, I got people in my own comments under my video saying that he it's warranted and that he deserves a strike. That are her fans. So, I mean, I, I don't know what else to tell you. It's happening. And if it was fake, she should have came out about it, said it's fake, and that she doesn't promote hate, right? Tumblr didn't die. Tumblr's still a thing. It's just that it's kind of cringe because there's a lot of porn on it. A lot of porn. It's cringe. It's really weird. Um, advice is not universal, even about portion size. What are you talking about? Advice is not universal. Advice is good. Whether, what? He's giving advice. She doesn't have to take it. She doesn't have to. I think it's good advice. I think a majority of people believe it's good advice, but she doesn't have to take that said advice. I'm just, I, I don't understand that. And and again, portion size is important. Like, the the advice he's giving is factual. I, I'm going to be real with you. He, what he's giving in terms of, like, advice is factual. He's stating a fact. It's not that he's, like, lying. He's stating factual statements with reasoning and actual evidence. Her evidence is, like, random podcasters. You know what I mean? Like, her, her reasoning for her arguments is random podcasters, one of them being a literal obese woman trying to give you health advice. Like, come on, dude. I, I don't know what to say to that. That's funny. Now, before we go any further, I will say that I began this journey with a bunch of people saying that Alyssa was deleting comments on her perks of being the fact video and put a pause on the comment section. I understand a lot of people are going to cry censorship, but also I will point out that anytime someone makes a video criticizing a creator, the vast majority of the new comments on said creator's video will say, LOL, you're dumb and I don't like you. Yeah, I there's, there's, I will admit that there's nothing wrong with putting a pause on your comments. Uh, if, if someone makes a video about you and it starts to overwhelmingly get negative. In your comment section there's nothing wrong with that i don't personally think you should do that any sort of comment i i allow on my channel um like dude i've had people like i have people that sit there and like say i'm a horrible person in the comment section i don't give a fuck i i don't care but i understand that everybody's different um and it's okay to pause comments especially if you're getting bombarded with a bunch of people calling you a fucking idiot so i mean i get it i do Everyone's ethics are not perfect or suitable for everybody. Well, yeah, but like, what, huh? He's stating facts. Or what's your name? Bambuzana? He's stating a factual statement. It's not that he's presenting ethics that she should follow by. He's stating a factual statement about weight loss and what to do. That, that it's, I don't know what to tell you about that. He's, he's just stating an actual fact when talking about these subjects. He's not saying that she has to follow by the ethic, and not everybody has to follow by that ethic. When it comes to losing weight, you don't have to do the same thing as everybody else. But he's just, goodbye, destructive. Have a good day. But, um, but I'm just saying, like, he's stating, a, he's just stating factual statements. He's giving, I don't really understand what you mean by, like, everyone's ethics are not perfect or suitable for everybody. Like, it is. Like, the practices that he's providing is suitable for everybody. It is. Losing weight, the way he's explaining, is suitable for everybody. I, I, I don't know what to tell you. Now, obviously, there's a select few people that clearly have, you know, like, medical issues. Well, we can talk about medical issues all day, all night. Yeah, he's giving a base. Yeah, exactly. He's giving a baseline of what everyone can follow. Yeah, which can be adapted towards your specific needs. He's not, uh, he's not like telling her this is what you need to do and this is how your life should be and everyone should follow this. He's just giving, he's giving out facts and a baseline for what everyone should follow. If you want to be healthy, like I, I don't know what to tell you there. I don't mind if people write comments that include polite and constructive criticism. Unfortunately, asking for viewers to be courteous to other creators that I cover on this channel does not actually stop comment brigading, no matter how many times.
Facts. Can't agree more with videos, that. And it doesn't work when other creators do it either. Unless someone has actually... Are you calling me right now? <laughs> Hi, Mral. Uh, We're on stream right now. Dude, <laughs> do you like it? I gotta figure out how to show this. Dude, uh... <laughs> I like it. You like it? I'm using a green screen so the watermelon isn't showing up. <laughs> yeah, this is awesome. <laughs> oh no, dude, I don't know how to show it. Uh, this is what it this is what it's supposed to look like. <laughs> uh. Oh my god, that's actually so cool. Yeah. I should use You that. want the you want the evil fucked up file? Yeah, the evil fucked up file. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. How do I? Uh, I just need to figure out how to apply this into the. <laughs> the uh. File. Uh, yeah. Uh, do you want me to? Do you want me to help you, or are you streaming? I'm streaming right now. I'll probably do it. Oh, when I'm done talking about my subject. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> oh my god. But uh, you blink too. If, I know. I see. If that. you didn't know, I see yeah, it. he's like he's he's got a blink, watery eyes, and everything. Yeah. <laughs> I I gotta go. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god i wish i could have shown it that was so good there might be a way here wait it's a file there might be a way i'll show it after i'll show it after. he did it oh my god this guy bullied her for how she looks and what she wears he even disrespectfully criticized her animation as well this is the t two for bullying where did he did what where did he criticize her animation? He didn't. He didn't say her animating was bad. He said that he misrepresented the size of a of a woman that she represented in her video. And she also put, like, specific things. On top of that, he didn't bully her looks. He literally complimented her. Do we need to go back and watch it? Like, do we need to go back and show you, like, what he said? He literally said nice things about her appearance. He, he said nice things about her appearance. The worst thing he said was that, you know, your attire is what's drawing negative response from yourself. You look back at those pictures and then you see that the dress you wore was bad. That's literally all he's saying. He's just saying that you need to change your attire. You need to change, like, you, you need to change your attire. Ch dress better is what he's saying. If that's bullying, I don't know what the fuck to tell you. Brother, I have people that tell me all the time that I dress like a fucking... I, in high school, I had people say I dress like a hobo. That's not bullying. It's because it was true. I literally wore gym shorts and like a regular t-shirt every, uh, every day, dude. It's not bullying. Her dress was dog shit. It was a bad dress. Come on now, dude. It's not fucking bullying. He's not bullying what she wears. He's giving constructive criticism on what she could do to make her appearance better when it comes to wearing specific clothing. If he was bullying her for her appearance and what she wears, he'd say something on the lines of, like, he, he'd start, like, insulting her. He'd probably sit there and be like, oh, ugly-ass hair, need to change that. Ugly-ass face, need to change that. He'd, like, no, he's just basically saying, like, your choice of glasses, it just, it doesn't look good on your face. Your choice of dress, it, it shows off the parts of your body that you don't want people to see. Like, he's just stating factual shit about the shit she's wearing. Like, uh, it's not bullying. If he didn't give any criticism or any, like, anything like that, I mean, yeah, sure, it's bullying, but th it wasn't bullying. He didn't bully her. Dude, oh my goodness. Yeah, we'll go back and legit look at that. We'll, look, we'll, we'll literally go back and look at it. Medieval God time. damn it! It's okay. I don't give a fuck. Arizona. We'll go back and look for it. 
personal beef with her weight, starting out with an experience of hers at an award show. At the end of 2022, I was nominated for a Streamy Award in the animation category. So I got to walk the Streamy's red carpet and attend the awards ceremony, which was a blast. But while the photos came out, I felt that oh-so-familiar lava flow of shame consume me. I hated how wide my legs were when I posed. I hated that squishy part under my chin that stuck out when I smiled. But most of all, I hated the way I looked because I knew I was the heaviest weight I had ever been in my entire life. Alyssa talks down about her appearance a lot in her videos. This is despite having decent features like strawberry mm. blonde hair, blue eyes, and vibrant skin. She could easily- He literally just complimented her appearance. Are we just glossing over this or... Are we, are we just going to gloss over that? He literally is saying she's hating on her appearance, but she's actually really pretty. Like, that's literally what he's saying. He's literally saying you're glossing over the fact that you have beautiful hair. You have beautiful eyes. You have nice skin. What the? What? He's. What? Uh, I can't. I can't. I'm going to have a I'm going to have a breakdown. I'm going to lose my mind. Oh, my goodness be considered attractive by most people if she just he literally is saying she's attractive glasses picks better clothes learn how to style her hair instead of always leaving it flat to her head with maximum forehead showing he's just criticizing the way she styles her hair styles her clothes that's normal people do that all the time fashion is a thing brother we we all criticize fashion all the damn time what are you talking about so many people do she made a public video talking about this. So he made a video criticizing it. He is complimenting her appearance. He is literally saying she is a beautiful person and that she just needs to fix her attire to look better. He has the right to talk about this. He has the right to be like, hey, if you changed your attire, you would look so much better. That's all he's saying. She doesn't have to follow it. You don't have to like it. She doesn't have to follow it. She doesn't have to change her appearance just for this guy. He's not saying change your appearance for me. Like, yeah, influence. Yeah, influencers talk about self care all the fucking time. There's makeup channels. There's such thing as makeup channels. Makeup channels, fashion channels, channels like that exist. Those are people who are giving you options for makeup and 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 clothing and whatnot they're telling you that this is pretty this you would look good in this uh, like fucking dude they exist people tell you that all the time it's fashion when, what are we complaining about here you you don't tell a train a stranger to get a makeover that's what multiple fucking fashion channels do multiple literally multiple female fashion channels will basically wear specific clothing and be like you'll look good in this Trust me. Like, brother, what? That, uh, uh, dude, it's literally out of, he's doing this out of the kindness of his heart. This is a good thing. He's saying you would look really good if you spruced up a few things. That's a factual statement. Dude, her forehead, look at this picture. Her forehead is fucking maxed out. That's a, that's a 10 head. If she changed her hair, gave herself some bangs, like in the second picture, she'd look amazing. That's, that's just stating a fact. It's just stating a fact. It's not being like a douchebag and, and judging her appearance. She's she's a decent looking person. She just wears weird clothing and chooses the weird hairstyles. I have weird hairstyles. If I styled my hair a specific way, if I styled my, styled my hair a specific way, I'd look so much better. So much better. If I dressed a specific way, I would look so much better. That's the point. Walking around like a homeless person wearing gym shorts and a shirt is going to make me look uglier than me walking out with a nice pair of jeans and a nice and a nice like set of jacket or whatnot just that i would look so much better in that way that's just stating a fact like what he's not saying change everything about yourself he's saying that he, he's he's saying you're a pretty person but you wear weird clothing that's all he's saying he's saying you your choice in clothing is what makes things look worse and watch some makeup tutorials. Now, it's kind of hard to see what she's talking about. When yeah, exactly. Videos about what hairstyle would suit your face. Yeah, that's an influencer telling a stranger how you should look. That's literally what it is. What are you... <sighs> comes to the dress. So let's Google an actual photo of that dress. And holy shit, that is bad. Like, right. this is bad. This dress is bad, dude. 
we're not like i'm not being a douche this is a bad dress her she herself acknowledges this is a gross dress in her own video she doesn't like how it looks on her what a, what what is the point here this is a bad dress this this is not a good dress it doesn't look good on her she chose a shitty dress her fashion sense is bad sorry that the truth hurts brother i, I what do you want me to say she think this would look good i i, I don't want to i don't want to talk about that way too much i, I don't give a fuck I, I, Engaged we'll talk about behavior. this. I think generally, YouTubers don't want their followers filling up another creator's comment sections. I also think it's well within a creator's right to block or mute comments on their channel that are essentially harassment and not an actual discussion. Exactly. However, that's that's very... I think that's fair. Like I said, personally me, I don't do that. Personally me, I don't, like, get rid of comments. I don't take away comments even if they're, like, super rude. I, I think it's fine. I don't give a fuck. Um, but, I mean, it's fine for anybody to do so. Anyone can. Anyone should. People are allowed to do that. She's allowed to do it. If someone's being a jerk in her comment section, she's allowed to fucking get rid of it. Don't judge her for that. Like, it's fine. But if someone's giving, like, constructive criticism and you remove it, pff, I don't even want to... I don't, I don't know where to start. Yeah, exactly. Like, it's... He's, he's just... Here, even if we remove subjectivity... From the equation he, he was clearly constructive as proven by the details he has pointed out exactly <laughs> this comment brigading behavior appears to just be a fact of nature that creators can't control so really it's on it, it, that's also something i forgot to mention when he talked about this uh we cannot control our audience i can sit here and say a million times don't go after somebody don't go after somebody don't comment under somebody's video don't leave a mean comment and there's going to be somebody who's going to do it same thing can be said for her. If she was telling her, let's say she told her audience not to send hate to a bunch of creators. They're still doing it. I get hate comments in my section. She probably doesn't want her audience to send a bunch of hate comments. Like, it happens. People do it. I think, listen, I don't think they died. I just think they don't talk because they know that they can't really argue about anything. It's the same thing with my comments. I'll ask, like, what did I do wrong? And they won't respond. Like, they're like, oh, your points are terrible. It's like, well, what were the bad points? Yeah, people have opinions on the internet. People are going to say fucked up shit, dude. It's the internet. It sucks. Don't get me wrong, it sucks. And people from another audience, they're going to do shit that sucks. They're going to do shitty things. But don't hold the creator accountable for something some random person from the community said. Does it, it's not about that. Like, obviously, I don't want people to go and hate other people and send hate to another person. Obviously. It's very obvious. None of us want that. Unless you're directly, unless you're directly telling your audience, go send hate to this person, then obviously the creator doesn't want that. So to hold a person accountable for the actions of a few bad apples from their community is really stupid. It's really dumb. YouTube to make an interface change that addresses this problem. We already have subscriber only mode on live chat. I don't see why that feature can't just be I love how his videos, by the way, it's just like these ambient, like beautiful back. <laughs> what the guy encourage is the sin of vanity something the Lord will never approve of. I'm gonna be real with you, brother. I am not a religious person. Uh, I'm not, like, super religious. I don't know what the fuck you're, that means. <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> Listen, I'm just gonna be honest right now. If he, if he encourages something that the Lord doesn't approve of, right? A religious thing. There's multiple religions, and there's multiple people that don't believe in it. He probably archived it because um youtube could youtube can basically take it down that's why you you youtube can take it down for something and he doesn't want it because for a good example is like if illymation if illymation posted that on her community timeline she would she could get hit with a strike for that because that's breaking community guidelines so the fact that he probably posted it just to show the proof um, took it down because it could be shot down for community guideline strikes. Because you can't do that. You can't post something saying, go after somebody. The post is true. I, I don't know what else to tell you.
Um, if it wasn't true, she should have made a statement by now saying this is not true. Someone made this up. I, I, I mean, encouraging the sin of vanity. Um, the uh, what he's referring to the seven sins. What are the what are the seven sins? I don't like. I said I'm not well versed in like religion. Sorry that I'm not. What are you talking about? No internet archive it, not YouTube archive it. What is that? What? Are you talking about the fact that he posted it and then it's not on his channel anymore? Because if you're talking about that, like like I just said, he probably took it off because it could get him in trouble. Pride, greed, wrath, envy, lust, gluttony, and sloth. Oh, I don't... If guy encourages that, okay, who cares? What's wrong with pride? Listen, I mean, I'm, I'm going to be real with you. Like, obviously those things are bad, right? And if the Lord doesn't approve of it, sorry, the Lord doesn't approve of it. But like, we're, hello, I'm going to say this wrong. Zaides? Zaides? We're talking about Illumation. We're talking about her video. We're talking about how bad it was. Martin Mueller. <laughs> Let's go. I, yeah, I don't, I don't know much about religion, brother. I'm going to be real. I don't think it matters. P some people are religious, some are not. I don't, like. What do you want me to say about that? I don't give a fuck if, I don't give a fuck if to you he did something that the Lord wouldn't approve. I don't care. A lot a lot of people give a fuck. And also I, I don't know what you mean by no internet archive it on YouTube or what. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck he's saying. I'm I'm gonna keep it real with you. I don't know. Video comment sections as well. You would be shocked at how many people would lose their interest in saying, LOL, you're dumb, if they had to wait 10 minutes or 24 hours to say it. This would heavily cut down on comment brigading without removing the ability to provide constructive criticism and without having to full-on censor the comment section. Anyway, Alyssa posted this on Tumblr. Of course it was Tumblr. The comment thread starts out with a post saying, Did you see this total creep who did a takedown of your fat kid animation? Alyssa responds to it by saying, Yes, frowny face. I didn't watch it. A friend did, though, and gave me a rundown. I advise <laughs> others to not watch the video or his channel either. Do not engage. Don't give him a single second of watch time or ad revenue. This is, th this is what I mean by, like, I don't understand why you can... How are you turning this into, like, Illy's in the right? She didn't watch the video, and now she's encouraging her audience to also not watch it, but blindly believe that it's a bad video. Blindly believe that he's just making fucked up criticism of her, saying horrible things about her. You're, you're literally encouraging your audience to just believe me. It's literally just trust me, guys. He said mean things about me. Like, watch the video? You should. You very much should. You should encourage people to watch it. You should encourage people to watch it and to get their own constructive criticism. I just, I think that's like super weird. Yeah, real mature. I'm going to start a mass flagging campaign for a video that I didn't watch and then tell my followers to not watch it either because surely they shouldn't be allowed to develop their own opinions on content that is critical of me. Gee, that doesn't sound like a cult at all. God forbid people on the left explore some of the viewpoints that exist on the right because that is scary. Shit! Yeah, Mobile fuck this games shit, are going big. I'm fixing this eventually. Clash Royale. You know there are many ways to watch a video without giving it ad revenue, right? Like that's also something that like girl what she just said. Why would she put it in bold print? That's not really possible. No, it it is. What are you talking about? On Tumblr? Are you really trying to argue that this is it's faked? Brother, it's what? It, yes, you could put shit in bold on you can put shit in bold on fucking anything. There's people on Twitter with usernames that are like all fucking like weird, creepy messaging. Like, what? You can do anything on Tumblr. You can do it in any sort of font, any size, whatever. You can do it in anything. You ever been on Tumblr before? What? Why would she put it in bold print? It's not even really possible. I guess it is. Very much. It is very true. You, she can she can she can do that. It's very possible.
For example, you could watch it on my Rumble channel where I basically re-upload everything for free. The link is in the description. Moving on to what her friend said about the video, because everyone knows that a game of telephone is always the best way to get the most accurate representation of an event. <laughs> Anyways, finish the entire video. Guy is just dog whistling to massage. Oh yeah, here's the friend. Here is the friend. Well, that certainly is a completely non-biased and fair assessment of my video that not only brings up my bad points, but my good points as well, and totally doesn't preempt Alyssa to hate me before any of the video is discussed. Let's actually, let's actually go back and read this ourselves. Anyways, finish the entire video. The guy is just dog whistling to misogynist and using phony generalized life advice guy suggestions like get plenty of sleep exercise, stop eating sugar, don't drink alcohol, don't smoke weed. And the general vibe of the video is I hate fat chicks and here's why. What? What? It what? Hold up. This is the, okay. This is the first time I actually, not the first time I'm reading this. I, I watched other people summarize this su statement, but what? Nowhere in anywhere in the video did he say I hate fat chicks. What? How is how is life advice like get plenty of sleep, exercise, stop eating sugar, don't drink alcohol, don't smoke weed translate to I hate fat chicks? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> oh my goodness. Then not once did he ever make misogynist misogynistic like remarks he didn't say anything negative about women once so i don't i don't know where that came from very, uh spends a very high percentage of the video personally attacking illy's appearance and takes her opinionated life story and attacks it with cherry-picked non-academic sources even though no his sources are pretty reasonable <laughs> uh which is hilarious because the he leads the video by claiming that the literal professionals, well documented opinions, shouldn't be trusted in a very hand wavy sort of way. Yeah, the literal professionals, aka podcasters, and what a podcaster who's three hundred pounds is your per literal professional. Like <laughs> what? And no, he did not personally attack Illy, uh, Illy's appearance. He didn't. He complimented her, actually. Pretty much any time he interjects his own opinion on the matter, it is either just non-factual opinion or actual tinfoil hat health guru-style conspiracy theory. Uh, yeah, so so was the storytelling. Your, her fucking fitness, whatever the fuck their name... I forgot their name already, but her, like, little helper that woman that helped her lose weight wasn't helping her she was she was like a tinfoil hat health guru but this is not conspiracy theory he gave like re genuine like factual statements on how to lose weight i don't know how that's like conspiracy theory chat what, what do we want to bet that the person who sent her this is a big person that doesn't follow any that doesn't try to lose weight doesn't work out whatnot what what's what's the pro what's the what's the chance? Like, cause I, I don't understand how anything in his video is like conspiracy theory. It's literally him talking about how you can lose weight. He's just stating factual statements, giving reasoning, and even giving like actual sources. He himself is a source. My judgment is that this guy appeals to the same audience as your Jordan Petersons and Ben Shapiro's. No, he isn't. <laughs> Exactly. The more people cry to the extreme about fat acceptance or anything really, or anything really, the more the opposite opposite side will resent the movement. Exactly. The more you people complain about fat acceptance, scream and cry about it, the more the opposite side are just going to be like, "Fuck fat acceptance." It's getting too extreme. It's way too extreme. But like, no, he's not like Ben Shapiro. He's not red pilled. He's not Jordan Peterson. He's not in the fucking. He's not in the right wing spectrum. His video is nowhere near right wing spectrum. And looking at his videos, it, he's not on the same fucking level as Ben Shapiro. I don't know where they got this idea. He's not on the same level as Ben Shapiro. Depressed emo girl. While well, hello, welcome, welcome to the, welcome to the chat. If Jane Animation said the same thing, then you could call it genius. No, I wouldn't. I very much would not. If Jane Animations talked about weight and said that food is food, I think she'd get criticized. I think a lot of people would. 
Illy, Adam, Illy isn't even fat. What, what is this argument? She's not fat. She's skinny. She's a normal weight. Yeah, I will say the issue with the fat acceptance has been adopted by the feminist movement, which I do agree that feminism nowadays is kind of sketchy. It's 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 gotten to a point where it's 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 a little uh a little shady. But I do think fat acceptance is more just it's turned in it's turned from being like, hey, we should accept fat people for existing and help them lose weight to it's okay to be fat. That's what I think it's went from. It, fat acceptance went from being like, it's okay to be a bigger person and it's okay to help them. Like, it's okay to be kind to fat people and not judge them off the base of like how big they are. And it went from that to, it's okay that we're fat and we should be allowed to be fat and being fat's okay and being fat's healthy. That's what it's turned into. It's, it's stupid. Not only brings up my bad points, but my good points as well and totally doesn't preempt Alyssa to hate me before any of the video is discussed. Sarcasm aside, may I remind people like I did in this video here, that while my viewership is mostly male, my female audience is between 15 and 20% on a typical month. If I was just posting radicalized misogyny in every video, then I wouldn't have this many women watching the channel. Yeah, now let's continue with a completely unbiased assessment from Alyssa's friend. He spends a very high percentage of the video personally attacking- Yeah, but... What? I don't think anyone's praising Jaden Animations for saying that. I've never seen a single person praise Jaden Animations for saying that. If she did say that, then sure, it's a little. I don't know. I'd have to. I'd have to watch the video. Wait, let me read it back. She said a bodybuilder can still be a bodybuilder and eat nothing but junk, and a fat person can still be fat but eat nothing but eat only fruit and veggies. Well, yeah. I mean, that's a factual statement. We went over this already, dude. We we went over this already. That's a factual statement. You could be big and eat healthy. You can. But it's about taking care of your body, working out and whatnot. It's everything that goes into factoring into it. Yeah, you could be a bodybuilder and eat junk food. There's bodybuilders who are buff as fuck who eat junk. But it's because they know how to balance their life. They know how to balance their food. The difference between a bodybuilder who's eating junk food it is is that they know how to take care of themselves. And a fat person who's eating fruits and veggies, they don't. They're eating too much of what they're eating. I mean, a good example is like fruits are extremely sugary. You shouldn't eat a bunch of fruits. Fruits are good for you in a handful, not in a lot. You shouldn't just eat a bunch of fruits because people say it's healthy. I mean, I don't know what to say to that. But, I mean, if Jaden said that, I've never seen anyone praise her for saying that. I, if anything, I've actually probably seen more people not praise Jaden, as of recent, for Jaden's opinions on things. I've seen Jaden get, you know, blasted for a lot of opinion, opinions on things. So if you're trying to make the claim that everybody thinks she's a genius for saying this, I, I don't think that's the case. I didn't see a single person praise her for having these opinions. Not once did I ever see her get praised for that. And, and like I said, either way, I mean, she's spitting facts if that's what she's saying. I mean, it's true. I'm not arguing that that isn't true. But that's not what Illimation is saying. Illimation isn't saying bodybuilders can still be bodybuilders and eat nothing but junk food. She's saying food is food. She's saying you can eat whatever you like. That's wrong. She's basically saying carrots and chocolate are the same fucking thing. I don't think Jaden said that. I don't think Jaden said junk food is the same thing as fruit. Like, Illimation is basically saying, like, it doesn't matter if you eat chocolate or if you eat carrots. It's fine. That's bad. You shouldn't say that. That's a bad take to have. Chocolate is very different from carrots. Very, very different. In Illy's appearance. Well, first of all, the fashion section was less than 10% of the content. Exactly. That's something I pointed out earlier. This is literally like a one-minute segment of the video. People are nitpicking one part of the video that's a minute. Like a two, one to two minute part of the video. Minutes and 45 Fucking seconds crazy. of a 37 minute video. 
Second, you also forgot to mention the part where I began that section highlighting Alyssa's good features to aim people's attention towards, and gave two examples of what she looks like when she styles herself correctly, and compared that to when she styles herself incorrectly. The reason I did that is because many people think they're ugly when they actually aren't. They just have bad fashion. I did a whole video about it here discussing multiple YouTubers who would look way better if they just took care of their appearance. Alyssa would be just as attractive as all the people she said she compares herself to in the Perks of Being a Fat Kid video if she just learned good fashion. Can we all- Yeah. I'll see why you should watch a video before you rile up a hate mob. When you hear personally attacking Illy's appearance, there are a lot of ways that can be interpreted. Some of them can be cruel and malicious bullying. Others could be, hey, you're actually not ugly. Just do these things here and you'll look great. In exactly. He's, that's all he's saying. What is wrong with what he said? In order to determine which one it is, you need to investigate further. Alyssa's friend says this next. My judgment is that this guy appeals to the same audience as your Jordan Petersons and Ben Shapiro's without any of the qualifications that those two regrettably have. Why would she assume that I'm a fan of Ben Shapiro when I made fun of his sister's terrible fashion recommendations in the very same video? Oh, that's facts, that. actually. He did do that. Glossed over that one. But at the end of that image, she's making an appeal to authority argument by saying that Jordan Peterson has a degree in psychology, Ben Shapiro is a lawyer, and I'm not qualified to speak because I'm not a psychologist or a lawyer. Well, for one, we're talking about health and fitness here, and what sort of certifications does Alyssa have in either of those fields to be qualified to talk about them in her video? Guess who does have certifications to talk about fitness? Me. I don't mention it a lot because constantly talking about your qualifications sounds a lot like insecure bragging, but I did say I was a fitness professional in my reaction to Alyssa, and my personal qualifications are a bachelor's degree in kinesiology. Oh! Oh, yeah. Don't know what to say here. Yeah, that's, uh, speaks for itself. What, again, what qualifications does she have? None. What qualifications does he have? Bachelor's degrees in, in certifications in health and fitness. <laughs> a personal training certificate and a 200 hour yoga teacher certificate. I also have about 12 years of combined experience in the fitness industry and in sports, and I taught for about 10 of those well years. 12 years. And we're still taking it. We're 12 years of, of being in the fitness industry and sports. And we're taking advice from a chick who animates shit and took her advice from a fat girl on a podcast. What are we doing? This guy literally is a fitness guru. Like, he actually knows what he's talking about. He's been, he's been a part of it for 12 years. 12 is a long time. Like, he knows the ins and outs of working out and how to take care of yourself. Very well educated in this field. I constantly learn new information in it, and it's one of the reasons why my fitness and weight loss videos do so well. It's because my advice actually works and has resulted in many people losing weight. Yeah, like, it's almost like it's almost like it's because he has qualifications and what he's talking about is like factual because he knows what he's doing. Again, if we all have to have degrees in this stuff, where are Alyssa's qualifications to give health advice to kids? Where's her degree? All she did was talk about how uneducated she is on this subject and starts the video out by saying this. I started dieting at the age of 11. I looked over at whatever weight watching, Jennifer Craig, fitnessing pal, MLM, Facebook scam my parents were up to, and I copied them. So she's preempting the video telling you that she's unqualified. What? 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 You're, you're a troll. This is a troll. This is a troll account. <laughs> you're trolling <laughs> okay i it's i got you buddy you're a troll you're trolling the jig is up buddy okay the jig is up the jig is up right the jig is up bam it's over bud you, you've been called out you're you're a troll you're just trolling me you're fucking with my brain here <laughs> <laughs> it's bait it's gotta be bait it's gotta be bait you're baiting you are you are you 100 percent are baiting you're a tr you're a goofy little troll i think uh what's her face uh the cat cat person this is this is her friend this is her friend you're fucking with me here but she has spiritual re retrospective <laughs> it's crazy Come on, man. I know you're trolling. And then she spends the whole video talking about how the advice of the professionals that she chose to listen to didn't lead her to her goals. Anyway, Alyssa's friend goes on to say, blah, 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 cherry picked, blah, blah, non-academic sources, which is really funny because Alyssa's main sources were a magazine and a fat acceptance advocate. Hell, they didn't even put a person's name on this 20-year-old article. Meanwhile, I actually gave proper citations that lead you directly to the source. I actually gave the names of the professionals that I was quoting. I showed a video using indirect calorimetry to display the differences on what types of exercises burn the most calories. And I linked a Noah Sampson video where I go very heavy into the data about why fat acceptance is bad. An argument so good that even Noah had to agree with it. So I must say... Okay, let's just say you're not bait and you're not a troll. 
Where did he get his education, America? That ain't right, but she has spiritual retrospective. I want you to sit down and think about what you just said. I just want you to think about it. Like, sit in the corner, right? Go sit in the corner and just think about it. Think about what you just said. And I want you to heavily think about spiritual retrospective. I want you to, like, think about that. I just, I, I just want you to think about that. Let's admit that in my prior video, I made a mistake. Well, two mistakes. What's going on? Ins insufficient vibes. We got a little troll in chat. We got a little troll in chat. The first mistake was the way that I made one of my arguments. I argued that fat representation in media can help promote healthy habits. This line of argumentation is not great. It's a stretch because it relies on a lot of correlations. A good chunk of Think Before You Sleep's video covers this flaw in argumentation. So I'm hereby raising a white flag on that argument. I think it's a bad argument. I'm not sure what a literal professional's well-documented opinion is, but considering that I'm also a certified professional in this field, it's my word against theirs, so welcome to a stalemate. Last, her friend ends off her comments by denying that Aubrey Gordon is a very ideological radical leftist. Wait, to he says things like these podcasters are probably agree with Alyssa's radical politics in an area where politics are not the subject at all, which I take as the current era culture war that certain right-wingers have adapted in order to appeal to bigots. I... What? He has n What? Right, but I don't think she would... Dude, come on, man. It's The jig is up, dude. I know you're trolling. Like, we know you're trolling now. It's over, dude. The jig is up. You fucked up when you said that. When that when you said that comment, you fucked up, man. Like when you said something about she has spiritual retrospective, yeah, I knew you were trolling. Like, come on now. Which if you actually read the stuff that I posted on screen during her segments, you could easily see. I didn't just say that without proving it. And yes, her politics are relevant, and so are Alyssa's, because Alyssa loves to abruptly insert her leftist politics into videos for kids. Fun fact, there's a vending machine at the peak Very of Mount true. Fuji. It's true. There's like 5 million of them in Japan. Max! Another memorable kid I'll call Devin. One day while I was getting snacks ready, this little dude stomped and stormed in. Did not pass the snack table, did not collect the Cheez-Its, and that's how I knew something was up. So I sat down with him, but before I could get a word in, he turned to me and said, Do you know what the most evil thing in the world is? Plastic. And he goes off about littering, landfills, fossil fuels, acid rain, CO2 emissions. So yeah, she does sprinkle in politics into her videos. That's what I assumed. ...are carbon footprint. It's this all right, Bam. just learned about pollution, and he was fuming. And I love that for him, because, you know, there are people my age who think global warming is a myth. So I'm here to show you guys... The kids okay, are okay, yeah, so she does sprinkle in politics into her videos, so that point is really stupid. From her end, her friend's end. All right. Yes, because telling a little kid that the world is being destroyed is completely appropriate and not traumatic at all. Does anyone remember that a part of Greta Thunberg's backstory was that learning about climate change made her anorexic at 11? Whatever your politics are, we should not be telling young children that the world is ending. By the way, when I say woke left, I don't mean the left in general. I mean the radical left who are pro-cancel culture and have been promoting the very unhealthy message that being 300 pounds does not cause health problems. And second, by the way, it's not like there aren't people on the radical right who are pro-cancel culture. The America First movement is very into cancellation and deplatforming, and I've been very critical of that. And no, I didn't just assume that Aubrey was 300 pounds. I showed her saying it in an article. Anyway, Alyssa goes on to say that she reported me to YouTube and is waiting for a human to review my video. She also chatted with the help desk person and really put a lot of her time and energy into trying to get me deplatformed when really she should be busy enjoying her vacation in Japan. Has no one ever reacted to her content before? Wait like a week and everyone will forget about it. In fact, if you said nothing, everyone would have forgotten about it by the time you got back from your trip. Last, Alyssa gives a call to action to her followers by saying, However, if you or anyone else reading this comes across this video, please report it for cyberbullying. Make sure to not watch it before doing that, by the way. Hopefully with enough reports from different people, it'll get taken care of sooner. And please do not send hate to him. It will only make things worse. I just want this to be over. I love that last part. Make sure you don't harass him. Exactly. Like, how... How... How can this literally be okay? I, I don't get it. Telling your audience that you're sending... You're gonna false flag another creator and then telling them, Hey, you should do the same thing is not okay. It's literally a YouTube, like, rule. It's literally a rule. A, a hidden... A hidden rule. That you don't do that. That you shouldn't do that. An unwritten rule. False flagging is one of the worst things you can do as a content creator. Like one of the worst. I said this in my video. And I'll say it again. False flagging is not okay. We saw it. We've seen it so many times. We just saw it with Crash Bandicoot doing it to that other uh, cartoonish guy. Uh, we saw it with... Um... Oh my god, I forgot his name. Act man. We started with the act man and what's whatever that other dude's name was who just kept false flagging him constantly. 
Like, it's not okay. False lagging is never okay. It's wor yeah, it's worse than bullying. Bam, I'll give you a reason why she posted this on Tumblr. If you post this on YouTube, then you'll get in trouble. She went to an anonymous site like Tumblr so that mo she most likely wouldn't get caught in the attempts that no one would catch it. And on top of that, she can't get in trouble with YouTube if she does it on a different site. Like, why else do you think she went to fucking Tumblr of all places? Like, she went to Tumblr so that she could avoid being actually criticized and to avoid getting, like, hit. Because this goes against YouTube guidelines. False flagging, especially promoting it on your channel. So if she posted this on her community tab, that would be against community guidelines. That's a That goes against community guidelines. She could get in trouble for that. She could get a strike on her channel. She could lose her channel. So yeah, I, I don't think it's really weird that she posted this on fucking Tumblr. I, I don't think it's weird. It's pretty fucking normal. She's she's doing this for that purpose. Yes, exactly. What do you not understand from what I'm saying, Bam? She posted this on, an, on a site so that the select few of her audience sees this in hopes that no other people will see it. She probably did this in hopes that no other creators would see this so she could just do it and get away with it. That's a very common thing. A lot of false flaggers do stuff like this, where they try to go to different anonymous sites to get people to help them false flag a video. They get their audience to do it through different sites so they don't get in trouble for it. That's a very common thing to do, especially with false flaggers. False flaggers don't just straight up say it in their videos that, hey, you should false flag this guy. If you're a fan of me, you should do it. If you have like a brain, which most people do, they would not do, they would not do that. Why not a Discord? Because Discord's not a trustful place either. She could have done it at Discord, Tumblr. Why did it matter? What, hold on. Why did that matter? Why are you arguing semantics here? Why does it matter? Who cares where she fucking posts it? She posted it either way. She's promoting it. It doesn't matter. She, yeah, exactly. She lives on fucking Tumblr, dude. That This is just where she is, brother. I don't know. Ask her, man. She likes Tumblr. I don't, like, what, do, I don't know what to say. She just likes Tumblr. That's it. I don't, I don't know what to tell you. Just mass flag his channel. Alyssa, I'll take hate comments all day before I take a channel strike. If I don't like comments, I can just mute them. By the way, considering her behavior, I think the only reason that she asked her followers to not send hate comments is probably because she doesn't want to make things worse by making people aware that she's mass flagging me. I hate to break it to you, Alyssa, but when you have a channel that has hundreds of thousands of viewers, people make you aware of everything. Even when someone tries to hide a targeted harassment campaign by posting it on Tumblr instead of Twitter or- Exactly, he just explained it for you. She's hiding it in a Tumblr post. That's what a lot of false flaggers do. A lot of false flaggers will go to other sites to promote this. That's what they do. A lot of false flaggers don't want people to know they're a false flagger because they know it's a bad thing to do. False flagging is bad. Like, and if somebody's planning to false flag somebody, they're going to try to do it anonymously so that they don't get caught. You have to be a fucking idiot to sit there and praise yourself for flagging another person's channel. You, you are an idiot if you think flagging someone's video is the right thing to do. Unless the video is straight up like porn or literally bad. Like, right, if it's spreading like a genuine harmful message, then yeah, sure, it should be taken down. But like a regular everyday YouTuber who's just making a video criticizing somebody, like, yeah, that looks really bad on her end. So why wouldn't she post it on a different site? I find it interesting that I'm not going to answer these questions YouTube, anymore. Where people dude. would actually be able to criticize the, the evil thing that you're doing. And then she says, I just want this to be over. Well, by playing dirty and attacking my channel and my livelihood, you did the exact thing that will make this not over. Now I have to respond because if I don't, I could lose my channel and the 80 to 100 hours that I spent on that video. If you simply did nothing, Alyssa, you had about four more days before everyone forgot about you. Speaking of YouTube rules, and as someone who regularly reads them, I know that my video doesn't break any of them in the hate speech policy or the harassment and cyberbullying policy. Here's the fun part. Do you know it's actually in violation of YouTube's bullying and harassment rules? This Tumblr post. Maybe that's also why she tried to secretly post it, because she knows if she posted it on Twitter or YouTube, people could report her for it. Oh, God. There, you happy, buddy? This video doesn't go against rules. That's why it's not down. And it, that's why it's not down. That's why it's still up.
doesn't break any rules. It's almost like you have to read the rules. Which I know a lot of her audience refuses to read. It's fucking stupid. It's in the rules, dude. I don't know what to tell you. Like I, I don't I don't know what to say. He his video doesn't go against any rules, regulations, nothing. So what he did isn't cyberbullying. At least from rule standpoint, it's not cy cyberbullying. So I, I you know, there it is. I, I don't know what to tell you. But what she did, it would be considered it because she's spreading a mass hate campaign. That's what it is. Originally, I was just going to talk about Alyssa telling her followers to mass flag my channel, but since Alyssa is hell-bent on spreading as much wrong information about health as she possibly can, I feel obligated to comment on an archive post that I was sent. Remember that Alyssa has no background education or any qualifications in this. Well, here- Yeah, that's what I was going to say, is like, I find it interesting that a person who was bullied as a middle schooler and was an abusive relation ship would do that like why does that matter those experiences doesn't i don't here she is yet again trying to gaslight people about how many health problems obesity causes and also conflates obesity with people who are underweight to try to make it seem less bad first of all let's remove obesity from the table if we're just talking about severe obesity more than five and a half times more people suffer from that than people suffer from being underweight this long rant of Alyssa's is so full of wrong information i'm just gonna let, him, just gonna let him cook real quick real, real quick sorry and poor analysis that i could easily spend a whole video on it i'm not going to go but can, yeah, but can she be seen as an evil person? Yes. The fuck? <laughs> I don't give a fuck if you were bullied in middle school, high school, whatever, and you had a bad relationship. You can be a fucking horrible person. Huh? The fuck kind of argument is that? Yes. I don't care if you went through bad experiences. I didn't take that down. You retracted it yourself, buddy. What? Be seen as an evil person? Yes. Are you? A this is a troll. You're trolling, dude. Come on. This can't be real. You are trolling. Be be real with me right now. Yes, she can be seen as an evil person. Just because you go through bad experiences in life doesn't mean that bad experiences you have or bad things you do in the future can't be perceived as bad. It's not an excuse to be a bad person. Like, j <laughs> huh? Just because you go through a bad experience doesn't mean that you are now void of any wrongdoing. Like, that makes no sense. Yeah, j bad experiences don't make a person good automatically. Simply put. Over every point, but I will do a little speed run through each section by also mentioning that Alyssa points out that you can't determine if people are dying of heart disease because of obesity because there are other factors that cause heart disease, like lack of exercise, smoking, and alcohol addiction. While that is true, I would also like to point out that people who don't take care of their health tend to have multiple bad behaviors. Would it be a shock if I told you that obese people have bad diets and they don't exercise? One person could even be all exactly like what obese people, people who are extremely obese, don't eat right, they don't exercise, all of them do. Like, fuck, you're not going to see a 600-pound person walking around the streets who exercises on a daily basis. Dude, there's nothing, okay, there's nothing wrong with forgiveness. Like, don't get me wrong. There's, like, forgiveness is, yeah, sure. But what I don't understand is, like, what are you trying to advocate for here? Right? Like, she's asking for false flagging. That's bad. She should be criticized for that. She should be, she should be criticized for it. That's an evil thing to do. That's evil. Can she be can she be forgiven? Sure. But she has to give us a reason to forgive her. You can't just forgive her because why not? All because of past experiences. She has to give us a reason to forgive her. If she stepped up and said, hey, I'm sorry I did this. I shouldn't have done that. Then yeah, sure. Exactly. We can encourage forgiveness when she owns up to targeting a specific a specifically smaller channel. Exactly. Simply put. Yes, forgiveness is fine, but she needs to own up to her problems. She can't just do something bad and then expect forgiveness because she has, like, past experiences that are bad. Like, what? What, what, what are we arguing for here? Four of those hypothetical categories. And the great thing is that getting a person to lose weight might also get them to stop drinking. Now they've gotten rid of multiple risk factors for heart disease just by weighing less. And if you're going to insist... Yeah, I mean... <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, fuck. Yeah, no. Being fat is a multiple thing. Multiple, multiple contributions. And heart diseases 
yes, can be caused for multiple things. We're talking about fat, fat people. And a lot of the things that make people fat is like drinking, smoking, bad habits, um, bad eating habits, sorry, and then not working out. Those things all factor in. Like, sure, yeah, someone might have a heart disease because they drank too much alcohol that day, but they're probably overweight. Like, there's other things. I mean, yes, other things factor into heart heart issues, but I don't understand her argument here. I don't really get it. The video is mostly targeted on the idea of being fat. And being fat does cause heart problems. Like, it, it, I don't really know what to say about that. Like, being fat does cause heart problems. Like, yes, other things do too. That, yeah, sure. But, like, that doesn't change the fact that being fat also causes heart problems. I don't really understand that logic. Well, we just don't know which behavior is causing the deaths. Okay, so assume it's all of them. They're all bad for you anyway. The weird thing here is that she's trying to argue that heart disease isn't self-inflicted when it happens to an obese person, but it is self-inflicted when it happens to a smoker or an alcoholic? I mean, that's how she ends her argument, at least. Personally, I don't really see a difference between destroying your health with binge drinking versus destroying your health by binge eating. Maybe the only difference here is that you don't want people criticizing the behavior that you are guilty of, so you're shifting the goalpost by saying, well, at least I'm not a smoker. Second, Alyssa shows this single anecdote from six years ago <laughs> to say that doctors are True. generally ignoring proper medical practice when it comes to obese people, which would... Her friends are not making these posts. Dude. What what are we doing? What are we doing? Why are we still on this? If her friends were making the post, she would have made a statement by now. How long ago is this? 12 days ago. This was 12 days ago, brother. She would have made a statement. This was her who posted it. It results in a massive amount of them losing their lives. The problem with this particular anecdote... Even if it's her friends, right? Even if it's her friends making these posts for her, it's pretty scummy that she's not doing anything to get rid of it to disavow these friends to acknowledge it strange strange how that works is that this person ellen bennett is a fat activist activists love to distort the truth if it helps them fight their cause and i point that out because this obituary and the related article are extremely unspecific about important details like the type of cancer that ellen had or what her chief complaint was when she entered the doctor's office one of the things that liars love to do is omit specific details because it makes it more difficult to question their story people get late diagnoses on cancer all the time whether they are obese or not so without specific information we can't determine if there was any sort of malpractice if ellen walked in with stomach pain at 250 pounds or so no doctor is going to say it could be stage four cancer we need a tissue biopsy now they're going to go through all the common reasons that people have gastrointestinal issues and rule those out yeah, first. Yeah, I'm just going to let him speak obese. here because I'm, I'm not a doctor or anything, but I mean, what he's saying is facts. The and poor diet cause a lot of them. They aren't just going to give you every single possible test on your first visit. That would be expensive and impractical. Also, this all happened in Canada, and I could have just as easily taken this very vague story and used it to spin a narrative blaming socialized medicine for this or any other cause that's politically convenient to my interests. Last, Alyssa gets a little personal by talking about her mom, who is a nurse who works a lot of overtime. Her mom went into the doctor's office complaining about hip pain and ended up needing a partial hip replacement. Very specific. We have a chief complaint and the exact diagnosis, so I can reasonably believe that she's telling the truth. Alyssa is mad that it took a long time for her mom's hip issues to be properly diagnosed and blames anti-fat bias for why her mom couldn't get an x-ray or an MRI. Well, to start, MRIs are expensive, and a year isn't that long to wait when it comes to joint replacement surgery. My grandparents both dealt with bad knees and bad hips for multiple years before they got replacement surgeries. But since my mom is also a nurse, which gives me easy access to things like the opinion of an orthopedic surgeon, let's talk about why the doctors might have made her wait. Alyssa's mom is 50 years old. The average age for a hip replacement is roughly 65. That's important because hip replacement- Oh, Jesus, and there we go. Man, this guy's good at showing proof and whatnot and just backing his shit up, man. It was me. I hacked into her Tumblr account and said all that shit because I don't really like her content. I am neutrally, I, I'm naturally very petty and childish. <laughs> Dude, this guy's this guy's based. This guy right here, he's based. I love this guy. I just, oh man, I just love how this guy is capable of sh providing like genuine. You know, backings for his points and, and reasoning and stuff. He's really good at it. Like, this just goes to show that it's like the doctors weren't doing it out of fat reasons. It's just because, well, here you go. It's because average age for hip replacement is during this age. And she wasn't at that age yet. Sim simply only lasts about 20 years. Since surgery is inherently dangerous and it gets more dangerous as you get older, a lot of surgeons like to delay knee and hip surgeries for as long as possible so that they don't have to do the surgery a second time. It's reasonable to spend a year exercising other options. That is very true. Surgeries are tough. Like, like a good example is like, I have like bad knees. And I guarantee you if I attempted to get knee surgery currently on my knees, I'd probably get rejected. I'd probably get rejected.
they'd probably just they'd probably just recommend like specific things for me to help out with knee pains and whatnot instead of like just giving me outright surgery <laughs> as long as they're a good doctor because because he's right like surgeries wear out over time they wear off like it eventually starts to kind of wear down and wear down and wear down and wear down and you need to get a checkup you need to get another set of surgery it happens with hip replacement it happens with everything all of these things like everything it it, it it's it's with everything when you replace specific parts of your body or you get like surgery on specific parts of the body the wear and tear it comes back because it's not as strong as like the actual human body doing it so i mean it, it's understandable that doctors expect patients to wait till they're much older to do these said things so that they don't ever have to do it again for them options before you someone open that being said, let's go over a little more information on Alyssa's mom. Alyssa says her mom has struggled with weight loss for the majority of her life, which is strange because you would never guess that from the way she animates her mom in her videos. Jeez. First you animate Aubrey Gordon about 150 pounds lighter than she actually is, and now you animate your mom as a thin person when she's actually overweight in real life. You know, for someone who is trying to promote body positivity and normalize things like health at every size, you really do a great job at erasing the existence of fat people from your videos. Anyway, once I read this, my next question was, how overweight is she? Is she 20 pounds overweight, or is she 100 pounds overweight? So I did some internet snooping and found a Twitter post that Alyssa made of these two people taking a picture with her while they're wearing 2022 VidCon featured creator badges, and their faces are censored with hearts. One might assume that these are her parents. If this person on the right is her mom, I would say, yeah, it's pretty reasonable to see if they can prevent a surgery with some physical therapy and by getting her to lose some weight. Yeah. Anyway, Alyssa- <laughs> Yeah, I mean, surgery should only be necessary if needed. That's like very important to acknowledge. Surgery is only necessary if needed. Surgery is dangerous. Like surgery is genuinely dangerous. It's scary. There's risks to doing it. I hate how people nowadays just like expect like, dude, it's like with fat, it's like with fat people when it comes to getting surgery. It's like, brother, like that is the last resort. If you're that big that you have to get surgery done to get rid of said fat, that's, dude, that's bad. That sucks. Like that, you shouldn't have to resort to that. She's at a weight where she's, she looks like she's a person that's at a weight where she could, you know, diet, exercise, whatnot. That goes, it's like same thing for me and my grandparents, right? Like I have, I have grandparents and they suffered with weight issues for the longest time. But what they did was follow genuine advice. They followed genuine advice and they followed actual like, you know, doctors and whatnot. And they've lost a lot of weight. Instead of getting surgery done to get things replaced, they just lost weight, improved their everyday life, and now they're feeling better. They feel better. Dude, back in the day when I was a kid, my grandparents suffered from so many issues and pains. And instead of just going and getting fucking surgery, their doctors recommended to lose weight. And then when they lost weight, it's almost like they felt fucking better. Especially, like I said earlier about my grandpa, like, you know, he swam a lot, lost a load of weight. And he goes on walks every single day, every day. And he feels great. Feels, feels good. Like that's, that's the importance of taking care of yourself. You should never resort to, to surgery. Surgery should never be the first resort. You should always try to find other options before you decide to lose, uh, bef before you decide to do surgery. Surgery is literally a last resort on fixing things because it could go bad for you. Alyssa will go to pretty much any length to prove that none of her mom's health issues are caused by her bad diet. And well, as a fitness professional who took many of the prerequisite courses to be a physical therapist, I will say that one of the things that obese people have trouble doing is walking properly. The first thing I would check is her mom's gait cycle because obese people tend to turn their toes out and waddle when they walk, which is bad for your hips. Nursing is also a job where you stand a lot, which is not that great for your hips. And it's even worse if you have 70 to 100 pounds of extra weight pulling your joints at awkward angles. Consider ergonomic shoes and sitting down more often at work. Alyssa's final argument to convince people that obesity causes zero health issues is some article about osteoarthritis. This one's going to be easy. Let's just look up Man, that page from the like WHO and what a shock. Like it learning. says that obesity is a risk factor for osteoarthritis. It actually says specifically for hip and knee osteoarthritis. My God, why are so many of these people illiterate? You don't even have to be a genius at research interpretation. They tell you the answer right there. It's right here, Alyssa. What is this, like the fourth time I've covered a major creator who doesn't even read the stuff they're quoting? I'm not even going to research anymore. These people are so good at finding resources that contradict their own points that I'm just going to let them do all the work now. But Alyssa will do anything, and I mean anything, Based. to say that no health complications are caused by obesity, even when her own source is arguing otherwise. Jeez, Alyssa, stop with the health advice. You aren't qualified to talk about this stuff just because you listen to one podcast from people who, wait, they aren't even trained in medical or health sciences? You've got to be kidding me. Michael Hobbs from Maintenance Phase is just a journalist who wrote for the Based. Huffington Post, and Aubrey Gordon is allegedly Based. a sociology major. First place I went oh, let's go, dude. Actually, W, dead things w, uh, w thing, it's a good pause. Based? 
ba 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 based it's crazy it's crazy how her sources are very bad sources and she is not qualified to talk about this stuff but he is ba 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 based really helps me reconsider what it means to be healthy and i can't thank them enough for it i can't imagine how that benefited you no wonder this article that aubrey wrote is full of sociological arguments and people's opinions instead of actual scientific data does she even know basic biological information like what atp is and if you think her podcast maintenance phase is any better it's not we still don't know why most people are fat or how they got that way in a scientific oh, wait is that true did she actually say that we still don't know why people are fat I, dude i feel like we genuine I, I think we know why I think we have a general understanding. I've said this earlier in the stream. America is fat because of processed food. That's the biggest reason. I said this earlier in the stream. I think I might have said it in the other stream before I got taken down. If you went to another country, let's say you went to South Korea, you would lose 20 pounds. You would, you would come back with a lot less weight because they eat healthier foods that aren't processed. And they walk around everywhere. They go walks. They go on walks every single day, and they walk around everywhere they go. You would lose weight if you lived or went to another country for like a solid month. You would lose a load of weight. America's fat because we have processed foods, and we just ultimately promote unhealthy lifestyles. Like we promote this type of lifestyle. We promote fat acceptance. And when you see fat women on billboards and uh, and wearing specific clothing, it promotes other. It promotes to young women and it promotes to young men and teenagers in general that their size doesn't matter. Or in general, there are literally people who think being fat is genuinely the right way to go. So you have people who literally will just get get fat because they think having a big ass or big boobs is like a W. Like that. That's literally a thing in America. That that is what we do here. We don't really promote healthy living is the best way to put it. America just doesn't promote healthy lifestyles. That's why America's fat. We make processed food and we basically promote being fat. Like, I, I don't... I don't Huh? The incontrovertible kind of tested narrative, right? This came from an episode about the 2004 movie on McDonald's called Super Size Me. Now, they do rightfully say that Morgan Spurlock should have disclosed that he was an alcoholic at the time that he was the subject of that film, but then they go on to say wrong stuff like this. So, throughout the film, Morgan Spurlock and his nutritionist both say that he was eating about 5,000 calories a day. They say it several times. Mm -hmm. So, there were, like, rebuttal documentaries to Super Size Me at the time. Okay. A number of those documentarians, some reporters and other folks, like science teachers, tried to figure out how to make this happen based on the McDonald's menu at the time, mm -hmm. and they could not get to 5,000 calories per day. Wait, but I don't understand how you can't get to 5,000 calories. Can't you just go in there and buy like 12 milkshakes? I mean, what they were saying is one breakfast meal, one lunch meal, okay. one dinner meal, and even desserts with lunch and dinner, they were still like, can't oh. get there. And even if you add McFlurries or whatever wow. to lunch and dinner, it I still watched didn't that get movie, folks to 5,000 calories. The movie. hosts of Maintenance Phase are really good at giving the impression that they do good research, but did they actually fact check this? No. They pretended to fact check it by looking up one item and saying, that's not possible, which is about the moral- Dr. Mike? I think Dr. Mike would probably tell you that being obese is not not healthy i i i i'm confident enough that dr mike would say being like obese and not taking care of your body is unhealthy like are you trying to bring dr mike in on this like he's gonna change he's gonna like disagree like sure he might disagree with a few points about positivity every doctor is different you're gonna have doctors that don't agree with fat fat acceptance you're gonna have doctors that do agree with fat acceptance but at the end of the day real doctors are all going to tell you that being 300 pounds, no exercise, just extremely overweight is unhealthy and will kill you. Every single doctor will say that. Not a single doctor in human existence is going to sit there and say being 300 pounds is actually healthier than being the average weight. Yeah, exactly. America has so much cheat, che terrible, terrible shit. Yeah. Yeah. America's system when it comes to food is bad. We have terrible food. Literally food that's promoted as healthy is even it isn't even healthy for you either. It's really hard to come by extremely healthy food in America. It's really hard. So I can understand the struggle of like being healthy. Uh he might be. I mean it doesn't matter. I like Dr. Mike. I like Dr. Mike. He's a chill dude. He's a good doc. He's a good, smart doctor. He's smart. 
I like him. But he fought Idubs in his uh wrestling match. But I think Dr. Mike's a chill guy. He gives genuine advice. He's he's a solid, you know, health you know, advocate in health. But like Dr. Mike is gonna tell you that being fat is is bad for your health. Like he's gonna tell you that. He's not stupid. Is he gonna is he gonna maybe disagree with some points? Of course. Every doctor doesn't agree on one thing. Doctors all have different opinions on how they view how things should go. Literally. Every doctor. Every doctor has different viewpoints on things. But what they don't have different viewpoints on things is genuine facts. And genuine facts are that if you're 300 pounds overweight and you're not working out, you're probably going to die at a younger age. Equivalent of reading the abstract and claiming that you read the whole study. Well, don't worry because I did the math for you. And if you supersize everything like Morgan Spurlock did in the movie and you add in McClurries, you can achieve about 5,000 calories in two meals. Also, did you even watch this film before doing the podcast? They literally show his diet journal. And while it is blurry, you can still see he ate two Big Macs and had a chocolate shake for lunch. He's not just eating basic McDonald's meals like you guys suggested. Is any of this honest? So how in the hell are two magazines- Wait, are they like actually hating on the Super Size Me movie? That's a good movie. What is- what is inherently wrong with a movie that is literally calling out fast food businesses for feeding you schlop? What is wrong? <laughs> what? Literally McDonald's feeding you schlop. Literal garbage. Intaking garbage. The whole food thing, because that's just mind-boggling. Whole Foods? Does Whole Foods have an entire, like situation i didn't even know i don't i don't know about whole foods i don't go to whole foods for my stuff i've i've heard bad things about whole foods how they promote that their food is like healthy and whatnot and it's really not um i just i don't i don't like understand that i mean it's just like Super Size me is a good movie because it it shows how these big businesses who are just feeding you disgusting shit it's causing obesity within america I mean, it's just, it's a fact. It, it, I mean, that's just a fact. Like, it, it's it's true. Like, I don't know how you could look at his movie and be like, this is a shitty movie and it's bad. And it preaches, and it, it teaches, like, bad behaviors. It's like, how? No, I mean, just, like, food. What Elimination says about carrots and chocolate? So you talk about the whole food. Oh, the whole food thing. I read it as whole foods. <laughs> I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> oh my god. He might talk about it. He, he probably will talk about it coming up on the end here. Writers with a very mysterious educational background qualified to comment on biology. You can't claim to understand a study when you don't know half the language being used. That's like saying that you're fluent in a foreign language just because some of the words are similar and because they use the same numbers as English. I mean, holy shit, Alyssa. I am begging you to stop giving people health advice and please stop promoting fast food to kids and giving it social proof. Ultra processed food is produced by a food system. Oh, base? So she promotes, like, unhealthy foods? The fuck was that that she... Is she genuinely promoting this? Reblogged. Mountain... Baja Blast Gelato. Okay, dude. Ultra processed food is produced by a food system that is the leading cause of cause of loss of biodiversity, the second leading cause of carbon emissions, and the leading cause of plastic pollution. Stick to making videos about Animal Crossing and sharing My Little Pony fan art. You aren't qualified to talk about this stuff. Anyway, that was my speed run through Alyssa's New Year's <laughs> Eve rant. I know it was a lot, but I assure you that I still didn't cover everything, and that was the quick version. Getting back to the mass flagging campaign that Alyssa started against me, let me be clear, she only cares about my video because it contains criticism against her. She doesn't actually care about real bullying and harassing, or even harsh critique. Well, obviously she doesn't care about bullying because she'll openly call her followers to harass a much smaller creator that has one third of her following. That's what baffles me. People are claiming that he's a bully, but like, she's a much bigger channel telling her audience to harass him without watching the video. That's bullying. That is bullying. That's harassment. That's bullying. That's what, huh? But allow me to remind everyone of this thing that. So is the Grimace Shake meme a true story? It is. It is, dude. Grimace took a lot of lives. Ludwig said a while back when he responded to a video of mine. I had a problem when I was young where I had a squeaker voice and I would talk and I would get roasted because of my squeaker voice. It's like an intrinsic quality about me and not because I am dog shit at the video game. I am cool with people being mean because I am bad or do something dumb. I am not cool with, be with people being mean because I have a trait that I cannot change about myself. He said that in response to a video that I made about video game activists using hate speech to cancel all forms of criticism, not just gendered insults or things that you can't change like he was arguing. Ludwig was roughly saying, no one's going to cancel you for saying someone sucks at the game, to which I pointed out in my response that I received a three-day ban from Apex Legends for merely saying that a teammate of mine sucked at the game. 
so I don't agree with Ludwig's. <laughs> w Apex, bro. <laughs> oh my god that reminds me of that one drama with apex when that guy was uh, that one teammate got banned for teabagging jesus christ no assessment at all i think this stuff has always been about removing any criticism now did i make fun of Alyssa's gender no did i make fun of her race no did i ridicule her for attributes of her appearance that she can't change no did i tell my audience to harass her no yet she still has deemed this a cyberbullying and is yeah, exactly he he didn't do any of that. He didn't make fun of her, like, appearance that she can't control. He made, he made, if anything, you can call it made fun of, but he made fun of her attire, which is something you 100% can control. You can control what you're wearing. You can control your hairstyle. That's all, that's all fair and well. Yeah, I killed my grandma. <laughs> Leading an actual targeted harassment campaign as an attempt to deplatform me and take away my source of income. Like I said, she doesn't care about harassment. And to further prove that, she was very quick to mention all of her YouTube friends a few months ago in a video about autism. My boyfriend Kermit is not of the YouTube sphere, although he does enjoy watching and keeping up with certain creators. But never in a million years did he anticipate being in the same room as Hassan, Jax Films, Ian from Smosh, Eddie Burback, Michael Reeves, Lily Pichu, and many others all at once. Now I will say that I think most of Alyssa's videos are fine. I think she gives decent advice on how to deal with an autistic partner. I think it's great that she's trying to destigmatize mental health treatment with videos like this. And I thought that most of the videos that I watched of hers were entertaining and relatable. I mostly just had a problem with her video on fat acceptance. That being said, we can see that she promotes Noah Samson and Hassan, and at least her boyfriend is a fan of them. The fact that she associates with Hassan yet flips out over light criticism from me is really funny. Because you know how it'll take time to say good things about a person, argue their points fairly by bringing up their good arguments? Yeah, I also think, yeah, that's true. I think it's really strange that, like, you clearly have a, have a liking towards someone like Hassan, Noah Samson, clearly left-wing, you know, left-wing people, extreme left-wing people. But then when a guy, you know, criticizes the fat acceptance, you freak out. Like, brother, Hassan, Noah Sampson, these people criticize other people for political things all the fucking time. All the time. But since this guy fucking made a video about fat acceptance, fear of fat acceptance video being bad, that's like a, that's like a, you know, that's the nail in the coffin. That's it. That's where you draw the last straw. That's it. You have to false flag him now. I think that's really stupid. I think that's cringe. I think she's had to have watched it now. I feel like she had to have. No shot she didn't. No shot. And make sure to not poke fun at the things that they can't change? Well, Hassan does none of that. He's spent hours reacting to my videos over the past two years, basically calling me every name in the book. Dude, shut the fuck up, you stupid, cringe, weirdo nerd, dude. How are you like a 14-year-old pasty little incel on the internet when I make fun of like pasty little shitskin incels? You are just a pussy, dude. Hassan is well known for the type- Dude, Hassan, fuck Hassan, dude. I think we can all collectively agree we don't like Hassan. Everyone, everyone can collectively agree that Hassan sucks. Fuck Hassan. ...of behavior that you would consider harassment, so don't try feigning ignorance, especially if your boyfriend is a fan. You have to have seen him do this stuff. Wait, take a look at this moment that I found while I was making the insult compilation. And plus, you can shit on women, just not on the virtue of them being a fucking woman. Like, I do it all the time, okay? Again, it's just like the Ludwig <laughs> clip. It's not about gendered harassment or making fun of intrinsic traits that someone has. It's about using the term hate speech to move the goalpost every couple of years on what's considered mean, so that eventually, any kind of criticism will not be allowed because it offends someone. Hassan said it was fine to make fun of a woman, just as long as it's not on the virtue of them being a woman. Then he said he does it all the time. Now, can Alyssa point to one example where I made fun of her for being a woman, or any intrinsic characteristic that yeah, she can't change? She never well, did. no, because she didn't watch the video, so she has no idea what's in it. But anyone who actually did watch it would know that I only commented on things that she has control over, like research skills and fashion. Yet she still said I was bullying her, and told people in her massive 2.5 million person following to try and get me deplatformed for a behavior that someone she looks up to or is friends with admits- That's what a lot of these people do. I mean, that's what a lot of these, like, political- I said this- I said this in my video, I hate political channels. I hate them. I don't like political YouTubers. I don't like political channels because that's what they do. They shift goalposts so much all the time, constantly. Like it's, it's annoying. Hassan does it all the time. Samson does it all the time. It's frustrating. And it's not just, don't get me wrong. It's not just left-leaning people. I'm not hating on just left-leaning. Right-leaning right -leaning people are fucking stupid too. I don't like politics. I think politics are stupid. I think politics on YouTube is stupid. Most politics on YouTube is really dumb. Uh, like most of it is pretty bad. There's only a few good apples in the in the in the realm of politics and whatnot when it comes to YouTube. But like I like when it comes to this like criticizing people type of shit, it's always just shifting goalposts, shifting goalposts, shifting goalposts. It's so fucking annoying.
it's he just does to all avoid the time. criticism. So the claim that this is just about gendered insults or whatever, and everything else is fine, is completely wrong. Now Noah isn't as bad as Hassan, but he still says things that Alyssa would very much consider harassment if it was said about her. Here's something he said about me. Ow, ow. So that's what this video is is like. Random stock image, smug, whiny commentary. He also followed that up with an entire video making fun of my voice with a friend of his. Do I care about that? No. I know what I sound like. But don't kid yourself by thinking that Alyssa wouldn't make a big deal of it if someone did something like that to her. So Alyssa, why do you think it's okay to associate and actively promote these YouTubers when they constantly do things that you think are so wrong that it's worth trying to deplatform someone? Again, is this the first time another YouTuber has reacted to her it's channel? It's literally just a bias thing. It, it's just a bias thing. She doesn't like this guy, so she's doing it to him. He doesn't fit the viewpoint that she spreads, so she's doing it to him. Oh, well, because I would quick. never think to get someone deplatformed because I didn't like a reaction they had to a video of mine. Did I cry to YouTube when Hassan made his videos on me? No. Did I cry to YouTube when Noah did? No. Did I whine about Nick is not green or Ethan is online reacting to me? Nope. How about Vosh? Well, Vosh's reactions aged hilariously after he accidentally exposed what was on his computer, but that's beside <laughs> the point. Vosh. Never have I tried to deplatform someone over <laughs> negative commentary. There was that many? After he accidentally exposed what was on his computer. No shot, there was that many. Oh. Good old Vosh. But that's beside the point. Never have I tried to deplatform someone over negative commentary, and these people have all said way worse stuff to me than any of the stuff that I said about Illumination. A lot of reactions to my channel have been straight-up slander, too. I mean, Alyssa, you do understand that this post here calling me a right-wing extremist who led a targeted harassment campaign against you is technically liable, right? On top of that, I would like to know that I've made many videos criticizing other people, and Alyssa is the only person to ever try to deplatform me because she can't handle any criticism. How are all these other people so brave? Aren't you like 26? You are well into adulthood and a lot closer to 30 than you are to 20, yet you behave like an elementary school child tattletaling to the teacher yeah. because some other kid criticized you for being a bad sport during kickball. Considering that in this post you stated that your market is children, do you really think this is being a good role model? Telling people to stick their head in the sand, not listen to feedback, and use dirty tactics against anyone who criticizes them? By trying to deplatform a smaller creator, all Why are we making these people like why are these YouTubers like YouTubers? Why? She handled criticism before. Okay, who cares? His point is basically that she will watch YouTubers who do the same exact thing as him. But somehow he's at fault for what he's done, but not them. If she's handled criticism before, then why didn't she handle it here? It doesn't matter that she's handled it in the past. Why is she not handling it here? This isn't some bullying campaign from a right-wing extremist. Right? This isn't some campaign to hate on. This is a, this is a constructive criticism of her video. That's it. And she's getting upset over it. And the reason why she's getting upset over it is because this isn't Noah Sampson. This isn't Hassan. This isn't some left-wing advocate on Twitch or YouTube criticizing her. It's because it's some random YouTuber that she's never met before that her friends assume are right-leaning. That's why. Her friends assume that she's, like, he's this right-leaning political activist who's trying to press a message when that's not what he's doing. He's literally just criticizing her video. That's it. She could have ignored it. She could have taken the criticism. But at the end of the day, I don't know why people like this are, you know, have power like this on YouTube and have a child audience. It's disgusting how kids watch this type of content. It's not fun being human with intelligence that and self-awareness. What the fuck are you on about? What the fuck is this guy on about? <laughs> but I mean, I just don't know why people like this are 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 on the platform are famous. Why do they have a childlike audience? They sh they don't deserve their audience type of thing. I think it's idiotic. What happened to the old days when like, you know, kids used to just watch like, you know, Stampy, Dan TDM, Mar Markiplier, guys who just played video games and had fun. Didn't try to spread some stupid fucking message. It was just people who had fun in video games and whatnot, and people just watched it to have fun. Like, that's what YouTube used to have. <laughs> Versus prime Mike Tyson. That's crazy. All you've done is make yourself look bad and legitimize the claims that your opponent made against you. So here's a little advice from someone who is not qualified like Jordan Peterson or Ben Shapiro. If you want this to go away, then stop trying to get my video and my channel taken down. And most importantly, ignore everything. Instead of burning your energy on a bunch of random people on the internet that you don't know that have no effect on your personal life, enjoy your vacation in Japan. As someone who has been studying Japanese for years, you would never see me ruin a trip to Japan over some stupid creator drama. Why exactly. are you doing it on your phone? You should be out doing stuff. It's been over a decade since I've been there, and no stupid woke leftist reaction video is going to ruin that vacation. In fact, Noah Sampson made this video.
video on me right before I went on vacation for a week last summer, and I paid no attention to it until I got back. You would do well to try that. And contrary to what you said in this video here, ignoring people does make things go away. Does anyone remember that Mr. Free Speech Tim Pool sided with two people named Eliza Blue and Jack Murphy who were both in favor of deplatforming? Nope. Do people remember that Tim Pool had one of his reporters write multiple hit pieces on Eliza's top critics while Eliza was busy using her connections to get those critics banned on Twitter and their videos removed from YouTube? I don't think so. Well, I mean, I remember that, but pretty much nobody remembers it because Tim Pool kept his mouth shut. Was yeah. it moral for him to do that? No, but it worked, and things went back to normal well, a few weeks the, after the drama. I mean, I don't really care about this end part. He's just talking about, like, another political guy. Oh, give me a second. Give me a second. I'm going to be talking. Don't worry. I'm just, uh... Got to figure out what to talk about here. Now that we've finished the video, yeah. Uh, Alienation is stupid. Alienation has done bad things. Uh, W. Oh, what? This is based. Hold up. Hold up. This is based. Look at this. Hey, Elimation, check out this piece of shit. What the fuck? Huh. So fucking base. You're telling me right now this audience is not a bad audience? Tell me right now that this audience isn't a bad audience. Like, what? Dude, it's like a cesspool of fucking idiocracy. It's so fucking stupid. I'll be. Just give me a second. Oh my god. What the fuck? You get what you fucking deserve. <laughs> Rain to get elevation to get a mid taper fade. We should do that. Set up a set up a campaign. Man, bam! Shut the fuck up. I'm on to you, buddy. I know what you're on. I can see why I'm probably getting hate comments though on my video. Her audience is a childlike audience, so uh, it's mostly kids. So I can I can see why. It makes sense. These people are they're they're gonna hate. They're gonna show hate on the video. It makes sense. These, this is like poetry, brother. I will not be silenced like a duck that got its bill removed. <laughs> Listen here, buddy. You will not speak any further. I will not be having this in my chat. I love this right here. She's going to make videos when it dies down. She's not going to leave YouTube or anything. Like... Like, the way he said it was basically just, like, it's it's gonna go away. Like, people are gonna ignore it. That's how it works. That's just how it works. She probably won't. She probably won't confront it at all. Hey, buddy. Augers. She probably won't confront it at all. You know what? Since we're here. 
She's not going to confront it. I don't think so. I, I, I don't think she's going to do it. She never watched the video at hand. Uh, at least for right now, she's not. Or she hasn't. She's probably not going to watch it. And she's probably not going to acknowledge it. She's going to keep... She's either going to keep getting upset. She's going to keep just getting mad. And saying that he's like some right wing like activist or whatnot. It's just annoying. I'd love to take a look at my comment section. But it's really just full of a bunch of kids who are like complaining. Because like I just don't. There's one comment that I thought was really funny. Here we'll I'll look at this one. Dun 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 dun. So instead of. Of all, uh, uh, let me speak. So instead of all of the really bad YouTubers in this platform, like, I don't know, the rumors of the racist, we're talking about a YouTuber who shared her experience and is being criticized for her own experience because she called it out for bullying? Well, maybe because it is. Taking someone's experience and criticizing it makes it seem like you're invalidating their experiences. She never said, oh, I hate this person. Flag them to take them down. That is what she said. <laughs> That's like pretty much what she said. <laughs> She just wants the video to be taken down for cyberbullying. Personally, I wouldn't take a video that deals with the person's personal experience just because you think you can criticize it. She's not a bad person. She stands her ground. And calling her a bad person for not taking someone's criticism and invalidating of her experience is just not it. It really doesn't even make sense either. You shouldn't speak over a person's feelings and situations. <laughs> uh... uh... Well, first of all, for the first part, I talk about bad people in general. I literally just talked about George, and uh, I've talked about, like, go to my channel, man. You know? Go, go to my channel, brother. I, I've talked about bad people, man. If you want to make the claim that I'm always oh, not talking about, like, bad people, like, brother, I... Too mad. This stuff. Wilbur. Even more too mad stuff. I've talked about some serious stuff, so I mean, I don't know what that even means. I talk about it. Like, I... I pay attention to that stuff, you know? <laughs> like, I don't just conveniently ignore it, but I'm talking about something that is serious, like false flagging, so I think it's important. <laughs> Stands or ground proceeds to not confront the situation at all. <laughs> exactly. Do I think she's going to confront it? Um, no, buddy. I don't think so. Womp womp. <laughs> oh my god. Like, I, I, I don't know what to say about that. Like, they just don't look at my channel. They just kind of, like, assume that I'm just some guy that's, like, making fun of Illumation just because I don't like her. It's like, no, I don't hate her. Like, like, here. We'll, we'll look at her channel in general. Like, I don't think she's a bad creator. Like, don't get me wrong. All right. She probably... So some of these videos are probably good. Like he said, perks of going to the psych ward or dating when you're autistic or whatnot. They're probably fine videos. Like, you know what I mean? They're probably fine. Some of these are probably fun, enjoyable videos. But it's just that this one video irked a couple of people. And that's it. Three months ago is crazy. God, that shit goes so fucking hard. Yeah, I just, this is what I mean, though. I think a lot of her audience is just like kids. What's the one reply? <laughs> w comment. Oh, it's the fucking. Oh, yeah, dude, this shit goes hard. My shit gets taken down for this music. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't think it will, though. So far, I've been fine with it. Yeah, I don't know. Her fans that comment under my, you know, video, it's just, it's just a bunch of kids at this point. A lot of them have a grammatical issues or like when I confront them asking like, hey, like, why do you feel like as if my video is bad? They don't respond to it. So it's, it's just kind of like, yeah, they, they're, you know, they're kids. I can't do anything about it. They're just going to be mad. They're going to call it bullying because she called it bullying. Simply put. That's really all it is. I don't know what else to say to that. Like it, that's that's how that's how it's gonna go. I'm gonna get hate bombed. You, you guys want to see it? Actually, you guys want to see the? <laughs> I'm not afraid to show it. All right, I am not afraid to show it. Not a pussy. 
I will show the like to dislike ratio right here, right now. 33%. Let's look at the analytics, actually. Nice. 6.2 is solid. I actually am not that bad at, not that mad at it. I mean, yeah, I'm not afraid to show that. Look, look at my other videos. Like 33 to 66. This video got promoted. Like, look at this. This video got promoted to her fans. I'm well aware of that. Eight of spades, do it. Do what? Rose getting canceled. <laughs> yeah, exactly, dude. I'm a victim. I'm a victim. All right, I'm a victim of this this person. She did this. Don't care. Yeah, little kids are little ki little kids are mad at me. Sorry, sorry that I pissed all of you guys off. I'm really sorry. Uh, what is something that I could do? You guys want to watch me game? Period's video, Illy fails to explain the menstrual cycle. Does she really? Never mind. I'm sorry. It is fades. What did you want me to do? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll change. I'll change. Oh, really? See, I, I don't know. I, I, I think she probably is a decent creator. Decent. No, does a good job. Everybody has a different viewpoint on how things go. I mean, the guy in his own video said that she did a good job at promoting, like, what's it like having, like, an autistic partner or whatnot. I mean, you know, he, he has a good heart, right? Like, think before you sleep. Like, he's not doing it off of, like, trying to be a negative person who just wants to cancel a girl or something. Like, he clearly is showing that it's like, hey, I don't think your other videos are bad. I'm not doing this because I hate you. It's just because I didn't like this video. It's just silly. But we could game. We could try to bring up something else. We could talk about something else, maybe. Let me see, actually, because I think there was some recent stuff that came out. Um. Oh, show you the analytics. Oh, you just typed it slow. I mean, I showed you my uh, my views and my dislike to dislike ratio and whatnot. I have currently. If you want to look into like sub count and whatnot, I currently have. Oh my god. Oh! It went up a little bit. 1040. W, love it. <laughs> uh. I'm a fan of animations. Yeah, see, the comments are just kids basically like, I'm a fan of animations. I love animations. A fight for justice for people in the humanity way. You know what? You said that perfectly. Now we got this music playing. I'm going to I'm going to fly high. I'm going to fight. Thank you for the sub. W Thank you for the fucking sub. You're a real one. I just fucking... Just keep hitting my fucking hand on the, on the desk. I keep hitting it on the desk and it sucks. It hurts. It really does. I could play... Yeah, like, I feel like I could play a game. Play a game for you guys or whatnot. Like a, like a fun one. Maybe not something, like, too serious... You guys want to watch me play Fall Guys, I guess, or something? Oh god, dude, this music is just so good. It's so good. I need to save this playlist, holy fuck. I love Gen 5's music. It's so good. Speedrun Duck Life! <laughs> you know what? <laughs> just because you said it. Sure. We'll play Duck Life. Oh, Duck Life 4? Bye bye. Eight of Spades. Goodbye. Thank you, Bam. I'm glad that you, you know, changed your ways. I'm glad that you learned from your mistakes. And it, you know what? We all make mistakes. I knew you were trolling, buddy. <laughs> Little freak.
Oh my god, dude. This shit looks... Alright, ladies and gentlemen. Duck life. One duck racer reigns supreme, and it's up to you to beat him. So you want to be a duck trainer, eh? Let's pick your duck. Wait, which duck life is this? Is this four? Or one? Which color do we want to make our duck? Which color are we thinking? <laughs> what the fuck is this? I think what would solve all of this is if Illumation got in the cage with Joe Rogan in a bare knuckle fist fight. I'm a two-faced person. I have a dark side and a light side. <laughs> what the fuck? You people are crazy. All right. What color is our duck going to be? Chad, I'm not fucking around anymore, dude. What are we doing? We going with the yellow duck? We going with the blue duck? Which duck? Brown duck is pretty... That's a good looking duck. We gotta make him cute. Kawaii. Pure black is menacing. Odds one out. I don't hate him. I think he's a sellout. Uh, I think he is a little cringe. He's a furry. So, I mean, he's, he's kind of crazy. <laughs> He's kind of cringe. I'm going to keep it real. Oh, yeah. This duck is going to be based. Oh, this is the grossest duck I've ever made in my life, but it's okay. Ooh, it's like a... It's like he shit himself. Oh, you want red? We'll do red. God, why is the scrolling like this? Oh, my God. red dude the scrolling is so bad <laughs> we'll do that is he spam it i got my eyes closed willow all right all right willow oh my fucking god I don't think we're gonna play. I don't think we're gonna play that game. Oh my god, the noise! <laughs> the noise. Hey, Elimation, check out this piece of shit. Yeah, actually, you know what? Let's watch my video. Let's watch my video. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Oh my god. All right, time to watch it. Sorry, I had, to, I had to take care of business. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. And today's video is going to be about the Illimation and the Think Before You Sleep situation. Do you guys like the editing? You guys like the editing? You guys like it? Going down, basically, Think Before You Sleep made a video criticizing one of Illimation videos where she basically just talks about the perks of being the fat kid. And the video in itself is not a very good video with a very bad message. I mean, the ending of the video has been spreading like wildfire. People shitting on it constantly where she basically just said, food is food. And I find it weird that throughout the entire video, her end point is food is food after everything she went through. That's her fucking thought process is 
because food is food at the end. I, I feel like I want to do a stream where I just watch the entire- Dude, This is the only part I talk about the video and everyone in the comment section are like genuinely upset about that part. I don't even talk about it video and kind of like, criticize I, it I, because I think the real point of my video is to talk about the false flagging that's really it really fun i think that'd be fun to do so watch out for that one because i'm gonna be doing that one this should be going up i believe on sunday so i'll probably stream either sunday or monday yeah, it's after monday it's, been it's monday because i think that'd be really fun to do but back into the video i want to get back into the video basically he criticized her video that's it if you actually watch his video he I just watched it he doesn't like shame her he doesn't like go out of his way to do like any hate speech or whatnot it's not like some disgusting freak video where he like hates on her and, and is just like it's invalid criticism like of just him basically being like oh fat people suck you know what i mean it's not like stupid shit like that he actually criticizes bad points in her video and he does a very good job at it now illimation's response to this was to send her fans to you guys like the fall guy skills you guys like it to false flag him yeah that that's the response i'll just read it off for you guys since this video went see can anyone tell me what was wrong with my video like but the point of the video is this i don't talk about the video at hand which i just i just don't understand like i don't talk about her video which people keep harping on that people in the comments keep harping about like her video and it's like i'm not talking about that i'm talking about the fact that she false flagged him like, she got a bunch of people to flag him, which is weird. And then the only argument they have for that is, like, well, it's cyberbullying. And it's like, well, this isn't cyberbullying. This is, like, I mean, we already went over this earlier. I don't really know why else I'm bringing it up, I guess. But we already went over this. It's not cyberbullying. Live, I've been getting hate comment bombed on my fat kid video, on other vids on my channel, as well as on Twitter and Insta. I submitted reports, but it takes a while for a human review at YouTube. I chatted with a help desk person today in the live chat help section, and she was very helpful. Unfortunately, I just have to sit tight. However, if you or anyone else reading this comes across this video, please report it for cyberbullying. Hopefully, with enough reports from different people, it'll get taken care of sooner. And please do not send hate to him. It will only make things worse. I just want this to be over. For somebody who doesn't want to send hate his way, I think you're <laughs> sending the fans to just flag him is more than hate i think that's i think that goes past the idea of hate and then you believe it or not believe it or not right would you believe me if i told you she didn't watch the video here's what she said yes i didn't watch it a friend did though and gave me a run can you explain on why it's not bullying well i mean we already talked about it earlier on why it's not bullying but i can reiterate it for anybody who probably wasn't here for that um he didn't like I, I mean, to be fair with you, I don't know how else to explain it other than he didn't, like, directly bully her. He criticized her video. That was it. He just criticized her points in the video. And as for the part when he talks about her appearance and whatnot, he literally compliments her appearance. I mean, we already watched it. I'm not going to bring it up again. If you want to watch it, you can reverse the stream and go back and watch it. He literally compliments her appearance. And the only thing he does is point out the fact that her choice of apparel or her, her fashion sense is bad. That's not bullying. Pointing out someone's bad fashion sense is not bullying. He points out that if she were to wear better outfits and whatnot that complement specific parts of her body and whatnot, then it would it would improve. It it would You know what I mean? Like it would make uh it it would make her look a lot better. Or like for example, her hairstyle, right? She has her hair going down the mid uh not the middle, sorry, she has it going down the sides and it shows off her big forehead. It's like, brother, I don't know what to tell you. That's not bullying. That's just pointing out the fact that it's like, hey, if you styled it the way you did this time, which he showed an example, he showed a picture of her with her hair going down the sides and then a picture with her with bangs. He basically just pointed out that like, hey, look at you. You did bangs and you look so much better in this picture than you did here. That's not bullying. Like that just isn't bullying. He's pointing out basic facts. <laughs> imagine, imagine Think Before You Sleep was actually dating her. And this is just like, he's mad. That'd be funny. But, but I mean, in general, it's just not bullying. And even by YouTube standards, it's not bullying. His video would have been taken down by this point. Like his video would have been done. If it genuinely broke YouTube guidelines, his shit would be gone. Or gone, sorry. It would be gone. And it's not. And the reason why it's not is because it doesn't go against community guidelines. Oh, no, 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 no. She's, she's a good-looking person. She's not a bad-looking, like, girl. He compliments her. That's what I'm saying is he doesn't think she's ugly or anything. He's saying she's pretty. She has nice hair, nice skin, nice eyes. He's, he's complimenting her.
Like, he's complimenting her. He thinks she's a good-looking person. He's just saying that the reason why she feels insecure about herself is most likely because of the choice of fashion. That's why she looks at herself negatively. It goes for everybody. I said this early in the stream. When I was in high school, I used to wear just gym shorts and a shirt, and people would call me a hobo. They'd say I look like a hobo. And it's true. I dress like a fucking hobo. I dress like a fucking homeless person. And it, it fucked with my self-esteem and how I looked. That's my own fucking fault. I chose to wear goofy-ass clothing instead of wear, like, actual jeans and, you know, nice shirt, a nice shirt and whatnot. Like, you know what I mean? It's like, he's just talking about her fashion sense, which is not bullying. Unless the guy was directly attacking her, which he wasn't, then it doesn't matter, right? He's not, like, bullying her or anything. He's not, like... He's not, like, taking her out back and then just, like, pointing the finger at her and going, like, ha, look at this ugly bitch. You know what I mean? The video isn't him being, like, everyone, take a look at this ugly fat bitch. Let's all laugh at her. She can't fit in clothing, ha. Like, that's not what he's doing. He's literally saying she's a pretty person. She just made a poor choice in clothing. In that part of the video. That's all he did. And then, as for the rest of the video, he straight up is just giving, like, advice, health advice and whatnot. And... And and that's just literally, like, you could take it or leave it. That's not bullying. He's just saying that her points in the video is bad. And that's his own opinion, right? You don't have to take it. You don't have to like it. You don't have to like his opinion and whatnot. But to call it bullying is wrong. And for her to... Yeah, no, well, no one has to do anything about their attire, by the way. You're right. Like, yeah, no one has to. No one has to wear a suit and tie. No one has to. You don't have to do it constantly. But what he's, but he's, what he's pointing out in the video is basically, like, if you're gonna complain about your own looks, and if you're gonna be like, if you're, if you're gonna sit there and have a negative, like, idea of how you look, there's things that can, sh that you could do to change that. And what he was doing is, here's what you could change about that. You could style your hair different. You can pick a different set of outfits because this one didn't look particularly good on you. Right? Like, he literally pointed out the, the clothing and whatnot that she wore that was just all, all right, like, just bad. It, it looks bad. Like, don't get me wrong. I, I agree with him. Like, the dress she wore for that one stream event, it was bad. It's, a, it's not a good-looking dress. Why can't we just let her do her own thing? Well, what... I... I uh... What do you mean? I mean, the, the argument isn't that he's saying you have to change. That's not what he's saying. He's saying if you're, if you're, if you feel insecure about how you look or whatnot, why don't you dress differently? If she wants to dress the way she wants, that's fine. We're not saying she has to change what she looks like. But what we're saying is if you're going to have these negative outlooks on yourself, then there's some things that you could change to do that, right? Like change your attire and whatnot. Yeah, exactly. Bam, you're learning. You're starting to figure it out. You're start <laughs> you're starting to figure it out. Like he's not attacking her on what she does in her everyday life. He's just giving advice. That's really all it is. He's just giving some j basic advice. Like that's it. He's just basically saying like, "Hey, if you don't have a good outlook on how you how you look, if you think you look ugly, well, I don't think you look ugly. You look you look very attractive. You're an attractive person, but those features aren't pushed because you choose to style your hair this way or you choose to dress this way, and that ultimately makes it look worse than what it could be. That's all he's saying. I mean, he's just stating a factual statement. I think her issue with the video was using was him using her as an example. Like, sure, the dress could be better, but let's let's maybe not call it ugly. He's being blunt. He's right. It is ugly. He's being blunt and honest. And it, being blunt and honest is important. It is. It's extremely important when talking about specific things like this. Like, he's just being blunt and honest. He's saying the ugly is just... Uh, the ugly. The dress is just not a good-looking dress. That's all he's saying. Man, some people might think the dress is great. Some people might think the dress is awesome. Some people might think the dress is beautiful. Some think it isn't. He's just pointing out what he sees and what he feels that she could have done better in that situation to make herself look even better, right? To make her feel like she was even better. Because a good example is that dress, she doesn't like how she looks in her belly, right? She thinks her belly's fat. 
Well, that dress genuinely makes people more attracted to look at that center area. It, it draws people to the attention of the stomach. And that's an area that she doesn't want people to look at. So why wear a dress like that? You know what I mean? Like, all he's saying is, like, make sure you wear clothing and whatnot that doesn't get people caught on the attention of the areas you don't want them looking at. That's kind of what he's saying, which is true. It's a factual statement. He's not being a bully. Like, he's not being a fucking bully. Call him the fashion police, I guess. I don't know. But, like, that's not bullying. He's just pointing out that she has bad fashion. Whether you want to believe it or not, it, you know what I mean? It's like, all he's saying is she has bad fashion. It's not a big deal. Who cares? He said she has bad fashion. I don't care. You can think she has great fashion, but he doesn't think so. Arteries happen in your teens, so you should be doing that. W bam. W bam. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Give me the cat. No. Hey. He's gnawing on me. Titty. You want to say something? Say something. Bean, say something. Love this show. Usually a talker beans. Kitty! Okay, now he's gonna eat the cables. No! <laughs> you, you stupid asshole. Fuck! <laughs> the cat's killing her. Sorry, I'll kill. The cat is killing him. Kitty! It's my favorite part when Queso. Screams, Kitty! Celeries? Yeah, Bean's gotta count their celeries, man. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> celeries. Uh, but yeah. Uh, I, like, I appreciate you for being reasonable about your opinion on it, though. I, I like that you're not, like, one of those fans that just outright says, like, just is, like, a jerk and doesn't take criticism and whatnot. Like, I appreciate that you're willing to, like, listen to like reasoning or what i'm pointing out i'm just saying that he's not bullying her and collectively most people agree that he's not bullying her and even if we want to say it's bullying youtube guidelines doesn't think it's bullying so and if she read the youtube guidelines she would know that it is it isn't bullying right so it's like or it can't be considered bullying like if you want to call it bullying if you want to go to your fans and be like oh this creator is like being rude about me that's fine but like going to your audience and saying we need to false flag this guy, we need to send hate towards this guy. Basically, like we need to like send some, like getting the where where is it where is it where is it where is it, like this is wrong. You shouldn't do this. Um, what I think makes her evil or bad is this, this part right here. This is bad. This is really bad. False flagging other creators is one of the worst things you could do as a YouTuber. It's really scummy. Maybe she isn't running her. God bam, you gotta stop doing that, man. Bam, you're a troll, right? Please tell me you're a troll. Bam is a troll, bam is a troll. Okay, okay. You gotta stop doing this, man. Stop it, man. <laughs> we're we're over this already. But this is why. It's not because of her video. It's because of this. The fact that she went out of her way to tell her audience to report his video. Because that could get his channel taken down. That could get his, like, this is his livelihood, right? He makes videos for the purpose of making money, and that's how he lives. If, let's just say her fans really went through with it, and or let they probably did go through with it. I'm just going to be honest with you. A lot of them probably f uh, reported it, flagged it, whatnot. Uh, let's just say it really went through and YouTube did take it down. Well, then her fans might have done it to other videos. And then he loses everything. That's bad. All because, what, he criticized you and you don't like it? This is one of the worst things you could do as a creator. It's an unwritten rule. It's basically an unwritten rule in YouTube that you should never false flag other creators for stupid reasons there's nothing wrong with flagging a creator because you know a clear and utter hate speech like for example if someone was genuinely spreading hate speech then yes you know that's something that you should probably flag and make sure that they're not they're not on the platform 
and whatnot. Or for a good example is like EDP. We don't want EDP on the platform. You know, we don't want a, like an actual pedophile Bring on the platform. EDP. I'm kidding. We don't want a pedophile on the platform. Like that's something we don't want. Like that's obvious. But when it comes to stuff like this, when someone gives their opinion and whatnot, saying that your audience should send hate his way and then and then after that saying I didn't watch the video is ridiculous because you she didn't even watch it. She got her advice from a biased friend who lied about the video. Like the friend just straight up said that he said this, this, and that when that didn't happen. Like the friend just took everything so far out of context. It was ridiculous. So it's that's why I think it's evil. I think that's why she's bad. And this is clearly malicious intent. This is clear. Like this isn't an oopsie. This isn't some like silly little oopsie. I always wanted to ask this, but if you had a chance to go back in time and talk to a canceled person, what would you do? That's such a W fucking question. I'd go... <laughs> I'd go back in time, and I'd ask Line Maker, would you do it again? Who is that? Line Maker's the one that sexually... Uh, is a pedophile. He, like, talked to Paige the Panda, and he, like... And like got her like underwear and whatnot or whatever. <laughs> like he's a he's a creep. Oh, okay, I see. The stream title is, is maybe a bit harsh though. No, no, no. Listen, I'm gonna be honest with you. I make these titles, and this is gonna sound fucked up, but I do it because it draws attention. That's it. When I put my title as Illumation is a bad person, it's because people are gonna click on that. No one's gonna click on the title saying like Illumation did something really Illumation did something really bad. Like no one's gonna care. Or Illumation is a false flagger. No one's going to care. But when you put, like, Illumation is a bad person on the title, it draws attention. I do think she's a bad person, by the way. It isn't me just saying, oh, I'm only doing it for that person. I do think she's a bad person. I think the intent is bad. I think what she did is bad. And I think she's a bad person. Other people are not going to agree with me, and that's okay. You don't have to agree with me. Um, uh, you, don't, you don't have to agree. Like, if you think she's not a bad person, that's fine. But in my opinion, I think she's a bad person, and I made that my title because I think she is a bad person, and I know that it would draw a little bit more attention to the video, which at the end of the day, I think it's important. That a video like this needs to be bigger, right? I think talking about false flagging is important. I think talking about like creators abusing that power is important because if no one talked about this, she'd just get away with it, and then she would probably do it to somebody else if someone else criticized her. So it's good to talk about stuff like this because then eventually she won't do it again because the backlash is too too big. Uh, so I do agree that like like you said, you do you feel like the uh, the video is a bit harsh. Uh, like sure, I think she should be allowed to openly to like the video, but to ask people to report it is dragging it too far. Yeah, exactly. Um, but and by the way, she never watched the video, so I think that's really shitty of her i think it's really shitty of her to not watch the video because if she watched the video maybe she would have had a different perspective about it instead of just believing a friend maybe not but like you said there's nothing wrong with openly disliking it she could literally go on tumblr and be like i didn't like this video about me and that's fine that's okay you can talk about how you didn't like a video that was made on you i had a guy made a video about me and i don't like it it's dog shit i think it's bad Wait, who's me? you want to see it Stream real quick. Okay, give me a second. Give me a second. Let me see it. But, I mean, yeah, I, I understand where people are coming from, where it's like, oh, the title, it's a little harsh. It's like, okay, yeah, 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 I agree, I agree. Title can be a little harsh. I, I, I'm i just being a blunt and honest. I don't personally care if the title is going a little too hard. Um, God, I gotta find this video. I don't care if the title is, is a harsh title in my opinion i don't think it really matters um but i can understand why some people can see it as like okay i didn't like i don't like the title because i don't think she's a bad person and that's fine you can disagree with me that's that's completely okay you you can disagree with that take if you think she's a good person at heart if you think she's a good person that's fine but uh but i just personally don't see her as a good person for this action I, it comes off as very scummy it comes off as very rude This, 
Uh, well, I won't lie. I think my issue is that this is just one mistake. Sure, it sucks a lot, but I wouldn't think that it makes her a bad person, you know? But again, it's fair that you think what you think. Yeah. No, no, no. That's fine. The reason why I think it's bad is because she purposely went on Tumblr to post this. So it tells me that she's aware that she could get in trouble for posting this. Sorry, dog lover. I'm sorry. Sorry. I... I'm sorry. She's not evil. She's a saint. I'm, re I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you like that. I gotta find the video, dude. I gotta find it. Oh, uh, it's gonna take a minute to figure this shit out to find it. But I will. Move back into- Here it is! Where's the comment? 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 Is he gone? He's gone. The guy who made the video on me? Oh no, dude, he might be gone. I I knew that he lost his channel uh because of uh he's by the way, he's not a good person. <laughs> he's like a bad guy who like spreads like shitty and shitty shit. Like his video, if you want a brief summary of his video on me, it's literally just like he says that I'm like a blue-haired like leftist who thinks being gay is okay. And I'm like, "Yeah, what's wrong with being gay?" Like, like, <laughs> that's, it's, it's bad. It's not good. Like, uh, it's, it's bad. So, like, I can understand why his channel probably got, uh, got smacked. Got taken off. Cause, you know, spreading the word that, like, being, uh, how do I put this? Spread, spreading the word that, uh, you know, that, uh, being gay is bad is not okay. It's not okay. Uh, being gay is good. I think being gay is okay. You can be gay. Being gay is chill. I think you're a cool person if you're gay. Uh, but wait. I think I went off track. I think I went off track. Sorry. Your pal, I'm sorry. I think I went off track. I won't lie. The issue is that just one mistake. Um, As I was saying in that, I do understand that what you're saying is one mistake. Like I said, I think it was targeted because she went on a different site to do this. And if she did this on YouTube... It goes against YouTube guidelines to do that. So she could have gotten a strike herself. So she purposely went on a site like Tumblr, a very not well-known site that not a lot of people use, to basically be like, hey guys, go flag this guy. Because my assumption is she's probably doing that so that nobody gets notice of that. Like people see that, or sorry, people probably won't see it. Like she'll just be like, oh yeah, people don't see it. And that's what a lot of false flaggers do, is a lot of false flaggers will basically take it to another site. That, that's what they do. They, they take it to another site and spread it on different sites, anonymous sites, so that they don't get traced back to them. The only false flaggers who have never, who don't do that is the Crash Bandicoot guy and then the guy who is false flagging um, the Act Man, who just like straight up would say it in a video, which ultimately backfired on him because people hated it. But that's what I mean. Is like, if this was like, in my opinion, if this was some little mistake that she made, I don't think that she would have posted it there. I think she would have probably like posted it in a community tab on YouTube and then would have looked back at it and said like, oh, I shouldn't have said that or I shouldn't have done that, which by the way, she still hasn't, she still hasn't talked about it. If I'm not mistaken, she hasn't addressed it from this point on. It's been 12 days since his response video and she still doesn't address it. So I think at this point, it's like, I don't think she's taking back how she feels. I think she feels pretty adamant on the idea that the video should be false flagged. Which to me is scummy. It's really scummy. Is she a, de is she a really bad person? Like a terrible, horrible, evil person? Maybe not. Right? Like probably not. She's not. She, like if I met her in person, she'd probably be chill. But yeah, I, I don't know. And something like this has fresh power, but they just push it out. You asked this already. You asked this already. Why are you asking that question? You little freak. Don't ask that question. Well, every, every person has an anger strike when something like this has fresh power, but they just push it out to let it go, and we're supposed to take it seriously. Uh, I'm going to be real. I don't understand what you just said. Has she addressed it? Do you think she's going to confront it?
Why do you keep <laughs> asking the same question? Andrew, I'm not going to ask this again. Why do you keep asking that question, buddy? I If you're saying, like, she, like, everyone has a breaking point, I agree that everyone has a breaking point, but, like, what was this breaking point? Other people that she supports, Samson, Hassan, you know, whatnot, those are people who do the same exact thing as him, if not worse. Noah Sampson and Hassan criticize people for their looks and whatnot. They bully they they bully people. Think before you sleep made a video criticizing her. And he's the one that she's mad at. You know what I mean? It's like, really? Her videos and as she's helped me a lot with mental health and such. I don't think we can judge her too harshly because we don't know her personally, but I do get it. Yeah, no, no, no. I, on a personal level, I don't know. I don't know if she's a bad person or if she's an evil person or whatnot. I don't know that. Um, but I mean, I'm like I said, I don't have an issue with her other videos. Uh, I, you know, what whatever it is, I don't personally like this fat, the, the perks of being fat video, but her other videos are fine. If her videos have helped you a lot with your mental health, that's great. That's good. And I'm glad that it has helped you. Like, that's that's good. Like, again, there's nothing wrong with um, diff having a differentiating opinion from me. If you differ your opinion from me and think that she's not bad or she's not evil, that's fine. You don't have to hate her now. You know what I mean? You don't have to be like, oh, I hate her. I don't want to follow her anymore. You know what I mean? Like, don't, don't feel the need to do that. Like, if you still want to support her, go ahead. Like, that's fine. Because you said it like 10 times now, and I just want to make sure that she <laughs> it ain't going to confront it. Uh, well, then I'll answer your question, buddy. Uh, I don't think she's going to confront it. <laughs> oh, my God. But no, like, it's... I, I appreciate that you're being reasonable about it. Like, a lot of people in my comment section are just straight up just not going to listen to reasoning. Uh, most of them won't. As for, like... As for, like, you, you're listening to reasoning. You're you're understanding things. You're disagreeing with things, and that's that's great. But, you know, if if you think it... This is important, and I won't stop you talking about it, though. I wanted to wanted to know my POV, you know? Thanks for talking. I will leave now. Thanks for the simple, simple talk. Yeah, of course. Have a nice day, dude. Have a nice day. And I get you. I get you. You know, as a fan of her, I understand that you want to get your own point of view from the situation. You want to get your own kind of opinion from the situation. So I appreciate it. I appreciate having, like, talks about it, you know, people differentiating their opinions. I there's nothing wrong with being able to do that. I like doing that over just like arguing with people. It's so much easier. But have a nice day. Have have a good day. But now what do we do? I want to find that Toad. The, his name is Toad something. I really want to find that video about me. Oh my god, I really want to find it. I'm going to I'm going to try to find it. Womp womp. Fuck you. Don't be mean. You will get a timeout if you're mean. I gotta find it. We will find it do it do what find the video i'm trying dude he like i have to find it dude i have to the the entire video is him basically saying i'm not funny and it's like okay i don't care if you find me funny or not like why why should i care you know what i mean like what i don't i don't really think that matters like he was basically just like this guy isn't funny and it's like okay Cool. You don't think I'm funny. <laughs> Try harder. <laughs> yeah, like, I don't... It's like, okay, I don't think I'm funny either. I, I, I never made a claim that I'm, like, super funny or based and shit. Like, I'm not, like, extremely funny. I don't think I'm a funny, funny, funny guy. Like, I don't think I'm the funniest guy ever. I don't, I don't fucking know. trying to find it bro there's got to be something yup another march baby classic dude i love that shit i love it man i don't think he's here anymore i think he's gone 
I think he's genuinely off the internet. I think his channel's like gone. I can't get it anymore. Rip. Well, I guess I have no videos made about me. Thank you. I really am the funniest, aren't I? Tell a joke. <laughs> You're putting me on the spot. Jeez. Um, no. No, I'm not going to tell a joke. Fuck you. Let's look at these. Let's look at these comments. Let's look at these comments. Can't believe this is a violation of policy. Crazy. Yeah, facts. <laughs> <laughs> Hold up, I gotta show this. <laughs> You're a false flag? You are an actual man-child. You have a peanut-sized brain. <laughs> You blame YouTubers with no reason. <clears throat> oh my god. Oh, dude, this fan base is so fucking cool. Illumation is not a bad person. Or I'm actually not true. I'm a fan of Illumation. <laughs> Oh my god, let's do this one. Well, I'm a fan of Illy, but not the, but that video was odd. I just do not enjoy the climax, but you had some good points I can agree with you and also disagree with. Disagree, but nice video, I guess. See, at least be reasonable. This person's like reasonable, at least. They disagree with some and they agree with some. I don't... <laughs> I love this one. I'm gonna pin it. It's so good. What, I can't pin it from here? <laughs> I don't know. I just. Illy is not a bad person. She's a story time animator. Sorry. I <laughs> won't do it again. <laughs> oh my god. I love this shit, dude. I love it. It's so funny. I don't know what that like do these people think I'm gonna be like upset or mad or something? Do, do you think like I feel like these people think like what they're saying is like gonna make me upset? I don't care. <laughs> this shit makes me laugh. It's so fun. It's it's so fun. Let's see if we can find another one. Dude, this one's so good. I gotta find this one and pin it. Just another person trying to expose a great YouTuber for clout. <laughs> uh, w comment. You're underrated. This guy's real. Everybody should spam. We hate March Baby. He's a terrible man. If these are real comments, dude, I can't. This is actually amazing. <laughs> Spam, we hate Marge, baby. It is a terrible man. <laughs> oh my god, that would actually be such a goaded thing to see in my comment section. Just a bunch of people saying, we hate Marge, baby. And he's a terrible man. <sighs> oh, it's so funny. So she's a bad person because she doesn't hate her own body and doesn't judge others' bodies? Sounds like they ain't really good. Got her there, man. Oh, that's so good. Dude, the, the newer comments are actually so funny. The older ones are like people getting upset. Like, these ones are actually just hilarious. Illumation's not a bad person. Erm, actually, my opinion says no. -uh. I'm a fan of Illumation's. Like, why are you making that clear to me? I don't... Like, I don't care. Why don't... <laughs> cool. Oh, my God. Just, dude, you're a false flag.
You are an actual man-child. You have a peanut-sized brain. You blame YouTubers with no reason. So, so true. Oh my god. It's so good. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> Let's look at even more analytics here. Let's look at this. Oh, nice. Three more subs as recent. You guys are awesome. You guys are based. Can we get me to 1,100? That'd be awesome. That'd be awesome. That'd be based. I would genuinely love that. Oh, my God. I There's not much else to talk about, though. We're kinda, we've kind of reached the end of it. What, how long has this stream gone on for? Three hours and 30 minutes. Uh, yeah, I guess we could probably call it. I want to do more streams. Oh my god. I want to do more streams, dude. I want to stream more often. This shit's so fun. Now that I figured it out on YouTube, oh my god, dude, I love doing this. This is so fun. Streaming is so good. So good for the boyn. So good for the boyn. Here, I got something I gotta show you guys. Uh, we're gonna... Oops. I gotta show you guys something. Before we sign off. Let's see if it shows it. <laughs> oh my god. Thank you, Mrao, for making this for me. Oh my god. <laughs> oh shit. Here, we'll we'll see if when I pull it up it'll show you guys. I'm going to start implementing this. Oh, I can't pull it up. Okay. I'll have to pull it. I'll have to just give it to you guys next time on stream. <laughs> Look at this, man. This is awesome. Oh no! God, dude. This is why I do this. <laughs> this is why. This is this is why I do it. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, you know what I didn't do? I accidentally turned it off. Oh, man. You know what? Here we go. Oh, that's what I was going to say. Um, I'm thinking of doing, like, drama-esque streams, talking about, like, serious drama stuff on YouTube. But I think I might just do gaming streams on Twitch. I think it might be just easier to do gaming streams on Twitch. Because gaming streams just don't get out there on YouTube. I mean, we'll see. I'll try it. I'll give it a shot on both sites. But, like, talking about drama on Twitch doesn't really go anywhere. But talking about drama here, this is where my channel is, everything. I'm probably going to just stick with doing it here. It seems it's so much better on here than it is on Twitch. Because I actually have people interacting in the chat. Because Twitch just, I didn't. Uh, but with gaming, I could, like, game on Twitch and whatnot. I feel like that'd be fun. Switching back and forth is kind of cringe, but, I mean, it, it's fine. But I think we're going to call it here. This is the end of the stream. I'll leave you guys with the dog. You guys can chill out. You know what? Actually, you don't get a dog anymore. We're going to let the music play out for a bit. I'll let you guys enjoy some music for a second. But I'm going to call it. It's been almost four hours. I'm done. I'm good. 
We talked about what we wanted to talk about. That's all. That's it. We did it. Love you guys. In a parasocial way, by the way. I love you guys in a parasocial way. I want you guys to, like, worship me. Yeah, I love you too, IRL. Hold on, I need to have a word with you. What does KYAS mean? You better not be saying some fucked up shit, brother. Just for that, I'm making you mod. <laughs> Won't even let me make a mod. <laughs> oh, do I trust you with mod? No. I don't know if I trust you with mod, buddy. I don't know if I trust you. Uh, 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 well, just do a standard mod. Your standard mod, okay? All right, see you, Bam. Sorry that you have to deal with your uh, two. <laughs> Jesus Christ, bless you. Sorry that you have to deal with your, uh, you know, two sides, your evil and your light side. I'm really sorry about that. <laughs> like your dark side and your light side. I'm really sorry that you have that condition happens to the best of us make me owner no <laughs> i'm not making you owner my channel <laughs> you're gonna fuck it up <laughs> you're gonna fuck it up you're gonna delete it i know damn well you delete it you would delete it and be like haha that's funny i deleted it isn't that just so funny I should be ending the stream, dude, but I'm not. I'm just talking. I want to stream a game, like gaming today. I feel like I should do that. I really want to. Are you down to do that? Or... Are you still here? Andrew, are you here? You want a game? Later? Not right now. Obviously, you probably can't do it right now. I don't think that he's here anymore. I think he's gone. I'll ask him in private. All right. All right. I think it's safe to say the stream is done. What time? Oh, bet. What time? Um, I don't know. Whenever you want to. We could do it like late night too. I don't care. Um, just stream and game. I think that'd be fun. I'll probably ask you in, in messages. I'm going to, I'm going to go. I'm going to go now. Love every one of you. I love you guys dearly. Like as if you're my own. What? I love all of you. Like down to my core like you know you guys are my like special little pookie bears um you know I, I don't know what i'd do without you guys i love you parasocially uh i hope you guys worship me and yeah <laughs>